the best in the business. Come on. Go. You ready? Jacob said, Let's go. No, what the call there? That's the final. Yeah, I think you're using one thing. We're not celebrities. I'm still most likely to find money in all the you know what I mean? Let's have some respect. Apparently we are live, so if uh, you can all get a share for us people. Uh, I just want to introduce me, my partner for the first part of the final. He might have to go in a short while, he's got work in the morning. Uh, it's none other than the Murphy's legend, Jeffrey G. Force Allen. Welcome, Jeff. Hello, everybody. You're not turning on, G. Are you on, mate? Hello, everybody. Yeah, that's better, mate. You're on that. Yeah, the force is a a keen admirer of uh, obviously loves his pool, so he appreciates good pool when he sees it. And there's a, obviously, you played Mark Hill in tournament, didn't you, Jeff? Yeah, I did. Uh, played quite well, really. He beat me 11-7. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's no surprise to see him in uh, another big final, is it, Jeff? I know he's, he's, had, he's gone through a bad patch uh, last few months. He's had trouble with his eyesight and stuff, but he's just got these glasses, hasn't he? Yeah, he's it's no struggling. surprise to see him back in a big final. And uh, he's, he actually played Liam early in tournament and gave him a bit of a it was a bit of a pace in eleven four, I think it was. Yeah, but I've got Ooh. A, I've got a feeling this is going to be different. It's going to be a lot tighter. We'll have a cracking final. Aren't yeah, we? I'd, I'd say so. In a w in a big final like this, uh, let me let me, j Jacob. Do you need to get in here? What's it? Do you need to get a chat? All right. Okay. Is everything all right? Yeah. As you can see, Mark um, started with a dry break. Let me just get. Uh, I'm just going to get some comments up, Jeff. Uh, I'll get stream up for us. So if anybody's got out to say, they can uh, just pop it in here for us. And if any questions or all that, people uh, would happy to answer your questions. We'll uh, try to get some up for my phone to stand on. Uh, mm. Just got no way to put a phone at the minute, to be honest. I was, I was late there. Nice touch of the English Open being won by a Scotsman. Mark, it's, uh, it's not about that, mate. It's uh, It's just been an absolute diamond of a weekend for Paul. It has, it's been unbelievable mate. Don't matter where, <coughs> don't matter where people It don't matter from. if you're from Scotland, Wales, Ireland, it, Afghanistan, Uzbekistan. Uh, it's just a great advert for Paul I think. And you've got two of the best players in the world battling it out for the first prize as a £5,000. Uh, hi Nicky. Uh, nice to see you tuning in. KG start, Sebastian. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, obviously. Let's hope we don't get many frames like this, Jeff, because uh, no doubt the people on Facebook are going to start saying how much they want to see balls potted and stuff like that. But what I will state early doors is uh, if need be, the shot clock will be out. There's just a bit of uh, KG nerves to start with. Because no matter how many times I've been in finals, you always get that bit of nerves, don't you? Oh, definitely. I mean, there's no player that's exempt for it. Every player feels it, no matter who you are. They can also they don't uh, feel it. Billy Ramsey, I, I honestly couldn't call this, mate. Uh, I wouldn't like to call it. I've I've been here all weekend, obviously. I mean, we've been in the tournament ourselves, and I think it's a deserved final from both. They've, they've both been the best, haven't they? Yeah. They've, they've played... Uh, obviously, you know what Dunster's like, Jeff? 
Oh, I will say one thing: his uh, his tactical game is unreal. You've got to scrape him off the table. Do you know if any frame goes tactical, you're just battling so hard. It's not like you're battling so hard to win frame. You're battling so hard to see a ball. I mean, that shot he's just played there is such a great shot to play. Obviously, I think Mark can just get through to it. Not sure if he's got much of a shot on, but he's just has to play with a little bit of side on, hasn't he? he? Just no matter where he plays, he just seems as though he's always got the advantage in these kind of frames. He's, he's got he's got some game. Uh, how it's improved it last uh, two years is uh, frightening, to be honest. A comment here, Jeff uh, Dunster to win, unless they change the rules halfway through the match. I think that's uh, that pretty certain. That ain't going to happen in here. Uh, but we'll be here till six in the morning before that happens. We're not we're not like that, lads. Uh, there'll be no rule changes. The best man will win. Whether it be Mark Boyle, whether it be Liam Dunster. There were no favouritism and there'll be no changing at rules. I don't like that, so I'm ready I'm ready to enjoy it. I've enjoyed commentating. I've commentated on both Liam's games actually. Uh, against Jordan and uh, in his last match with Gaz. Which were it, it were pretty poor to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if Gaz had a broke off, Gaz had probably won that match. Cos by Liam's standard he just won't hurt the races at all. It is the last couple, don't get me wrong, to get off that line, but it, it, were, it were a bad performance for some real Liam standard. And obviously Gaza's break just absolutely killed him. He salad six times. And I watched other, so I watched other semi. Obviously <coughs> no yeah, problem. you watched a bit of Mark and uh, Gillespie. That were fantastic. Good standard, Jeff. Yeah, I don't I Yeah. Maybe two balls missed. Yeah. Ball match. Obviously, it, it were a bit different in here. Uh, Liam quite meant quite, it probably made more mistakes than what Gaz did. To be quite honest, uh, but that just shows you the statue of the man to actually come through a match when he's made a lot more mistakes than his opponent and he's still winning. Do you know what I mean, Jeff? But even saying like he's negative, the, the last two shots he's, he's tried to develop the reds. So he's had a bit of a result here, to be honest. He just shook his head there, but I think he's had some result there because he's landed up middle bag now. Yeah, but he's still, I think he wanted to come into him from. This yeah, I know, but he, he's got it wrong, anti. But I think he's got a real opportunity here. He can be so attacking with this middle bag shot. He's straight on it, though. I don't think he can. Oh, I'm looking at monitor, Jeff. It looks like he's got a better angle. Maybe. <coughs> but for some, he's looking at uh, putting this in the middle and leaving that other ball. I think he's. I think he's got to go into him off this surely. Looks like he is playing with left hand side to knock black out. That's yeah, the that's the shot. He's, he's had a nice result. I think he can get this. Black don't go. That's only problem. Obviously, it don't double it. I don't think the bag value actually goes in, unless you take it into the middle of very acute angle. I'm just looking at some of the comments here. Don't double either. Becca Douglas out. I've got his uniform all ready for him. I think, Becky, are you uh, Liam's uh, boyfriend, are you? Uh, girlfriend, sorry. I've seen you watching quite a few of his matches. Pool is coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home, Pool is coming home. Wow. Darren, you must have been bored when you put that post together. Jesus. Same winners. Prize money. As three of Kendall's tours. Much better value for money. Yeah, Corey, what it is, mate, I've been explaining. I can't. Uh, what a shot. That has been unlucky there. Yeah. No, he can oh get it, Jeff. Okay. He can get through. Yeah, Corey, what it is, mate, when people put like so many words, we can't actually see the comments unless Jacob can get them up for us. Can you get comments up so we can actually see what they're putting instead of this see more? Uh, it's coming up through on my iPhone as like see more. So I can't actually see all the comment, but yeah, you're pretty much bang on what you're saying. The same same one as prize money as three of the Kendall's tours. Much better value for money tournament this has been. I'm guessing it says this has been. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much the feedback we've had from uh, every player in the event. Uh, what's the what's the actual plan, Seb? Are you doing some more then? Yeah, well, definitely, mate. If, uh, if Tommy's still got the bug fridge, you have to, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, I got I got told that Tommy wanted to retire. 
Okay. Well, clubs been, clubs been full all weekend, so I don't see why not. I've got, I'd like to say as well, crowd's been absolutely fantastic, honestly. I'm struggling to talk at a minute, Jeff. I've been on this mic for about six hours. My voice keeps going. Yeah, uh, like I say, if, if Tommy's... I, I think... Well, to be honest, I got told that Tommy wanted to retire and leave club to... Young, uh, young, young Jack. Jack and Tom to run, but... I think this uh, weekend's put some fire back into Tommy's belly. Oh, it has. So, I've seen him in counting house, in kitchen, counting wads. Uh, I'm just well, Liam seeing some comments. That Liam's off the mark, first frame. I've uh, just seen a few comments obviously on my phone, I can't see it, but what has he put up for you, man? I can't see that. Uh, with comments on the air, I can't really see me, Jeff, can you see them? I wish I was as good as Liam, it says. Great start, uh, Jessica Carlson. What it is, we've got, uh, we've got my phone uh, comments coming through and uh, I'm seeing uh, Jeff is a worldy paddy. Obviously, we can't. We, we can only see a few comments, can't we, Jeff? Too slow, clear up. Too slow, clear. What? Come on, that, that was a great finish, to be honest. I agree, Robert Stephen. Great finish, very positive and attacking. Yeah, player. that was a great that finish. That was, no, yeah. there can be no complaints from that. Surely to God. If you're complaining over that, you need to have a word with yourself. Buzzers, buzzers, <coughs> giant. Buzzers in the house. The legend, uh, Brian Alcrow. Nice to see you tuning in, Buzzer Pal. Yes, I was speaking to him before he went, and he uh, I love the lad, Jeff. A bit disappointed with his performance. Yeah, he's all, you know, Buzzer yourself. He's going to be a perfectionist. Uh, We'll be back. Definitely. I hope he's enjoyed his time at Murphy's. He seemed like he did. So, I don't hopefully, think, I don't think there's anybody who hasn't. There's every, no, everybody's commented on the venue, the tables, even the. Even the people that have got beaten, like stages or early stages, they've all got glowing references, so I could just can't thank them enough, really. I seriously, I haven't heard one moan about a table, roll off, cloth, pockets. No, nothing. but if, if one does appear, Jeff, uh, <coughs> it must be a sour person, that's all I'm going to say, because uh, I think 64, 64 players are absolutely buzzing. If one comes in and he's been deep in bag or he's been in pints. Well, Liam's just broke dry, same <coughs> as Mark in the first frame, and these are a lot more appetising. Steve I think. Wall, have they whacked it, Seb? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what you're on about there, Steve, pal. Have they whacked it, Seb? If you could just uh, enlighten me there, Steve. I'm not sure what's, uh, what you're on about, pal. I probably missed a couple of comments. I can't see all comments, to be honest, lads. Uh, I just know that we've always been playing all week and these balls are going yeah it's, uh, it's played well and oh commentators guess. oh wow. my god wow I'm looking at yellow now it looks like it's safe way down pocket is it mm. I ain't seen him I ain't <coughs> seen him miss one of them all week maybe a nervous start Jeff a bit of nerves kicking in mm. looks like it to be fair, it was well wide though, wasn't it, Jeff? He's on his local side, so that'll calm him down a bit. Sam Jones is a just said, Jacob, check your PMs if you can catch this. I'm not seeing all the comments, lads. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Oh, bright uh, buzzers comment. Evening, Jeff. Seb, great event. Well done. It was a good chat yesterday, Jeff. Hey, it top was, quality mate. buzzer, pal. No sour grape from buzzer. Donna Evans has put a comment on now, Jeff, and I uh, can't see all comments. In all, in all honesty, you'll struggle to believe this was the first event of its kind here. Yeah, I'm sure it's a kind do uh, comment from Donna. She's a changed person now. That she, she's got Chris's surname, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she has. She's it says Seymour, so I can't actually see more. If people have been following my commentary today, they know how annoying it is when I can't see more. But I can't. Ray Stewart, go to spec. There's nothing wrong with my eyes, Ray. <laughs> Might be with my pole skills, but not with my eyes. Seb, put your phone upwards, not sideways, and the comments will come up. I've, uh, I've got it upwards, mate. It don't matter what, though. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter what, I do, mate. 
It just, I can't see it. That's just it. Uh, Dunster's got a glorious chance for 2 0 here. Oh, it's 2 0 this. These kind of players don't miss. I know I've just said it but, and, and Mark missed, but trust me, I've been. Well, it, beat, it might beat me, didn't it? So it must be decent. It must be out to kill Jeff. <laughs> Liam had quite a lot of mistakes in his uh, 200 pound Stuart in his semi-final 200 uh, pound entry oh yeah pittance wasn't it Jeff yeah, pockets are slightly big Alan because uh, the, every table has been recovered and they're all just sliding in a little bit but the same, yeah. for, the same for everybody brand new cushions brand new cloths every single table so if you expect him to play tight uh, yeah you may to expect pigs to fly at morning as well I will be honest, Alan. I don't like. I like him a little bit tighter myself. When I've played my money games, I, I don't. You love a tight tail, don't you, Jeff? I never want him recovered because swipe I just left. I don't up. like it. I prefer him tighter. Yeah, there's no comments. Yeah, lads, but you're not understanding what I'm saying. Uh, <coughs> what it is, if you put a comment on, and uh, if you put like a bit of an essay on, then it comes up to me see more. So I can't actually see all the comment. Just going back to a comment there. And Jack if Smith. Uh, not as yet, Jack. Uh, I've just been to Cyprus on holiday. And uh, I haven't played for a couple of weeks, I'll be honest. I know I entered this light, but I was a bit slightly rusty. Uh, but I'm going to put some time in now. And I'm, uh, as we speak, I'm going to put a little uh, post on Facebook about a money game. Obvious, ob uh, hopefully before. Before Christmas, definitely, anyway. Yeah, Kieran, uh, when I press the top of the comment, mate, it just comes up that it gives me an option to like it, love it, laugh at it, wow it. Do you know what I mean? Sean Chipper feels the same on my phone, Seb. So must be having the same problem. I think it's everything that's got an iPhone, Jeff. It just, uh, yeah. it's really annoying, to be honest. It's really getting on my tits, to be honest. Because I'm seeing people's comments and I can't actually read the comments. So if you're going to comment it chat box, lads, I would advise it not to be an essay if you want it read out. Because quite frankly, if it's an essay, we can't even see it. So, yeah. Who's the gaffer, Donna or Donna or Chris? Well, we know that, don't we? We know it's Donna, don't we? Ben Rowland, same on mine. Every Lowe's getting the same problem, Sebastian. Jamie Simmons, I've got iPhone, it works fine. Anyway, back to the game, it's 2-0 uh, to Liam. I think Mark, starts, uh, Mark needs to start making a bit of a move. Saying that 2-0 leads are nothing with these players. Saying that is dry broke. I haven't seen many of them from Mark this uh, weekend. He's really been crunching the ball off the break. Not many dry breaks at all. I don't need to tell you because uh, all the all the players watching this game knows about Liam's temperament, but he just looks so calm, cool. Abs absolutely phenomenal of the game. What we're thinking, Jeff, here, reds or yellows? Uh, My first instincts were just uh, reds. If this red, it's hard at black goes. You can't hardly tell from here, but it, yeah, it goes. But it's still got on it. I, I wouldn't even fault him taking yellows. I think the I think yellows at best. I think yellows' first shot's pretty hard. You don't want it middle pocket. Yeah, but it just doesn't look straight forward. It's, it's like easy. a thin snick. Easy. Yeah, it's part of the ease. Goes about his work, it's 3 0. I've just been I've just been saying Seb now I'm not the temperament of Liam is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. It's uh well, Jeff, do you know to be honest, in his last match? Uh, against Gazi, but it actually went to pot. 
He, uh, I called it before it actually happened. I just seen him. He missed two balls up short, and <coughs> he actually shook his head and apologised to Gaz because he knew he missed it, but somehow it went in. And he apologised to Gaz, and I says he don't look right. And he he had a complaint to referee about uh, people in crowd cheering for Gaz. And then he, he snooked himself on black, left the total. Just he played about five shots, like his head just totally went. And if Gaz had got his breath going, I, f I fancied Gaz to win the match, but that is enough there. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Murph. Yeah, like obviously Liam Dunster's a source yeah, to be having one of the best temperaments in game, but I think a lot of people have chatted back me up on that. His uh, his temperament was definitely tested against Kazi, but and it like I say, I've never I went into the room, so I didn't see that, and I'm, yeah. I'm surprised what you're saying there because you well, you're, everybody sorts him with best temperament in game, don't they? They're just <laughs> like as if he's not allowed to lose his sh for a while. Do you know what I mean? That's better now. We've got a. Are you alright? Is that bad, Seb? I was just checking if it were updating, Jeff. I didn't know if it were like. Uh, no, I can see fine there. No, no, I'd, no, I'd like to like see more. So I can, do you know what I mean? I can like flick from yeah, from time to time. That's better. Yeah, I can see fine with them, yeah. I wear contact lenses, lad. My eyes are different class. <coughs> Obviously, Mark's got two shots here. You're just going to develop them so every, every ball goes now? Yeah, he's, he's just come up short on his first one, so he'd probably have to yeah, play a we'll clip we'll long rail now, wouldn't he? Play long rail, yeah. Which is not an easy shot, but you won't expect him to miss it unless he could even take the red uh, down by yellow. But I wouldn't expect him to play that shot, I'd just expect him to play this chipper long rail. Yeah, Jack Smith, uh, yeah. Thanks, pal. At least somebody agrees. My, vo my voice is going, lads, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I've done too much commentary today. So I've done about six hours worth. You've got a question, so I was minding you whip it. Yeah, uh, who said that, Jeff? That person can uh, go mind his own whip it. Because uh, that's not Seb's game. I'm just going to take this along the cushion. Was yeah, it won't an easy shot when you're struggling, won't it, Jeff? No. I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not saying he's struggling. I'm just saying when it's been uh, throws out. out. You want to get a, a frame on the other. You well, you know, any, any major final, you don't settle until you get that first frame on board. I didn't. When I played Mark yesterday, three dry breaks on trot. And, and you're 5 0 down. 5 0 down. And I'm with being on stream, I just thought, don't let this be embarrassing. Anyway, I managed to. The clock. betting pre match, what a. Uh, Five to six each at all, and a couple of big bets came in for Boyle, so it went to oh, it went to eight to eleven Boyle, even money Dunster. Andrew Appleton, thank you, pal. Glad you enjoyed it, mate. You looked to be playing some pretty good stuff yourself, mate. Yeah, had a deep run, so yeah. Hopefully you'll be back for the next edition, dog. The dog were on fire. He enjoyed it, yeah, Jeff. He did. We had a great match last night, to be honest. A proper, it's nice proper to match. It's nice to see other <laughs> owners of, of pool halls and as such. Yeah, supporting each other. Yeah, it were really, it were really commendable about this this venue. We said, is absolute, absolutely loved it. And he, he got very close to the money, didn't he? Even at his yeah, it even, were, uh, even at sixty two year yeah, old Matt, Matt so Lawrence, <laughs> sixty two, the dog. <laughs> oh, he's loved it, mate. What's happening here? Yeah, uh, Mark's just said something to Liam. I'm not sure if uh, he apologised for like. I'm not sure, Jeff. Did you catch that? I didn't see it, mate. What was that? What were we on the back? Always landed sharp there. <coughs> he's not happy a minute. Is uh, I don't know what's up with him. He's, he's some, he's, look, he's talking to the referee now, Jeff. Yeah, I think he said he's had a thud off a cushion. We've just been saying that nobody's moaned about the table. <laughs> I've just, well, what we've just been saying to Mark in there? He yeah. was saying every table's perfect. I, I said, well, you'll probably play it final now. There's so much wrong. But this is his third match, so he should not table, Jeff. It's still final. Get, 
Touch your left hand side. I'll have a word with him about and if he's got out to say then I'll have to take him outside and have a straightener. I think you'd struggle with him. He's Ooh, big, Mark. big lad, Mark. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, he's played that well. Oh, he's Ooh. caught it. He's still, he's still all right. Though. Yeah, he's still, he's still good, doesn't it? I thought he played it perfectly at first, but obviously he's just caught it. I think you're right, Kelly. He's nearly ready for a Zimmer frame. <laughs> Andy, I put on saying, gain some stick here. Yeah. Gain some stick is Andrew. Anyway, it's 2 1. It's, uh, I think he needed that one, actually. He looks a bit. Uh, he looks a bit shot, like confused, doesn't he? He does. He, should, he shouldn't be confused with his table. He's played three matches on it. I, know. I think, uh, obviously, Jeff, pool players they make a big deal out about no, don't they? They do. They're for sign of bother and they're, they're looking for excuses, so to speak. I'm not saying that's what he's doing, but I know I've been in that position myself. And you you tweak a ball and you'll say, oh, it's just turned off at last. I've got, I've got a kick. Mm. It's gone over a finger mark. Do you know what I mean? We're all the same, aren't We've we? all got excuses in his locker. Mark Ball's no different. If he's think he's got a bad bounce, oh, it's n listen, we've all got him. Simple as that. I'm only kidding, Andy. <laughs> no need. Andy, you're quite right, pal. Don't take that abuse from the force. I'm only kidding, mate. You'll know that. We it's hugged and kissed before you went, if you remember. We're still friends, I hope. It's not Mark you have to worry, it's Laura, she will spat you clean out. <laughs> <laughs> Callum, I know, I, listen, she's very she's very uh, fiery. I sent a comment on Facebook a while back, I will talk to Mark and he was like, yeah, she's quite a fiery, fiery Scottish bird. Which they always are, to be fair, aren't they? I was saying to Viv Rusko earlier, Jeff. He's just, mi he's just uh, mimicking to me now, Mark, saying that he got a funny bounce off course. Oh, right, right, is that what it was? Thought he did. It's just pinged or something, yeah. Oh, it's just checked up, I'm not sure, but... He brought oh, it. I was just going to say, I want to see how he's breaking in his match, because he brought really badly in uh, against Gaz. It came good towards Jeff, but all the way through the match, he went straight in off it middle bag a couple of times, and he, he just didn't seem to have his break under control. Jeff Allen sounds like Mick McCarthy. Ah, I do, ah. Ah, we got ball in our own age, didn't we? And, uh, I thought, uh, I thought, get it up, get, get it upfield, and uh, we, we, we might score a goal or two. I know what I mean. Oi, the force, stop it. <laughs> On fire, absolute fire. Eight thousand foot Calcutta. That's. I think it's eight one. Though, uh, I think they've just had to lower it uh, because uh, Chris Manning didn't turn up. So no, they no. took it. They, they've refunded whoever. I'll, uh, I'll confirm that, Jeff, in a minute, pal. I've, uh, I've actually done the new Calcutta payouts. Yeah, I'll just take a quick look. Correct, that's due to him. He sounds like. Yeah, him, it's uh, eight thousand one hundred and eighty-five pound for the winner. Sound like Ali. Four six seven seven foot runner up. Glad you're watching, Liam. So they are they are on the uh, website, uh, lads. Mark Boyle did sell for a grand year. The bookmaker bought him. I do believe. Anybody got an interpreter for me and you, <laughs> <laughs> James? Humphrey. Oh, listen, no, is that no. jealous, Jenks? Jealous, Jenks. Jealous, Jenks. Don't be jealous, buddy. He's been creeping around us all week. And yeah, he, no. he goes on and starts pulling us down, doesn't he? Yeah, he's not. Listen, hang on a minute. Who's just mentioned Callum Thompson? Is he needs to be blocked from this chat if he's getting involved? Cause the oh, he's gone. All oh, right, I've just been informed that he's gone from Facebook. So I don't know why Joe Martin's mentioning him. This, uh, this. I just like, to, I just like to say that this crowd uh, at Murphy's this weekend has been fantastic, and they've all got a little bit of interest because they're a lot involved in Calcutta. Yeah, it so brings people in, doesn't it, Jeff? It brings people in. It's good, it's good for clubs, I'll be honest with you, because a lot of people are getting involved in it and they're all coming to support the man. I mean, we had somebody in here last night who was going absolutely mad for Rob Duncan. Every yeah. time Rob put on a black, he's putting, go on, Dunk, put a dunk on it. Put a dunk on it. Yeah, he it, it just loved it. But it wasn't being disrespectful to the player. He was just cheering for his man, so it was pretty good. Uh, who bought Dunstan? Well, Robert Clark. He bought uh, Dunstan and Cousins, last two people that got auctioned off. So he's uh, uh, in profit, no problem for Big Rob. Rhys Cole's been doing a book, and uh, he's been the bookmaker over there. He's got he's really buzzing because I think he's made quite a bit. Obviously, yeah. he's, he's 
there's people had some good wins and there's people won a lot of money here this weekend. I know we're talking to Reese, he says there's been some big payouts, but I think he's well in profit. Plus, he's bought uh, Mark Boyle in He's got 50% of Mark. He's got 50% of Mark in Calcutta. So, a nice yeah. little £4,000 pickup if Mark wins this game for the bookmaker. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it, well, yeah, we've just uh, I've just spoken to him there actually. I says, uh, "What what situation?" I know we're doing quite well with all the results that I've gone in, but I just said, "What uh, situation?" Uh, he says, "Must be four grand up of a weekend, Jeff." So it's not a bad weekend, is it? Four grand up and then four grand with us. And that yeah, and if Boyle wins, obviously he's got another four grand to come. So do you think he'll pay tax? <laughs> do you think he'll pay it organised? <laughs> Now wait, uh, listen. That Obviously, uh, Chad Ronan was supposed to be booking one, but he had other commitments. Uh, we asked Reese to step in at last, uh, pretty much last minute, Jeff. So I think he deserves a mention. He's done, he's done well. He's done a great job. A lot of people have actually said that uh, he's done one of the best books that they've like been to an event. Obviously, he's had all prices up on board. He, oh, we had Chad Ronan in this afternoon, didn't he? Even he was better with Reese and. Uh, I think everybody's enjoyed Bucky. I think Jenks, he fancied me in that uh, salmon top I had on. You know that first night? Yeah. Oh, Jealous Jenks. That first night when I was still in comp. Yeah. <laughs> jealous Jenks. Don't be Jealous Jenks. Come on. Uh, Mark Boyle beat Tom Cousins 8-5. That's a good break. He's, he's caught them very sweet. It's controlled white perfect. And no matter how you control it, though, you can always get kicked in, can't you? It's cruel. It can be cruel, can't it? I've seen him... And people kick yeah, in that's it. Uh, that's why I think uh, the, the, there's only one rule that needs to be changed in black ball, and it's the break off rule where you're going off. It should just be one shot, Jeff. You shouldn't get a free shot. It's a ridiculous rule. I was talking to Darren Appleton about it. He says that he he said he'd like to tweak rules a little bit. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. I've been I've been preaching for the last two years now to ch just change the one rule that I want changing. And the the skill shot. I know people say you should call it, and that, it but that should there should be a call shot. You don't so even see it, Jeff. You don't see it enough to call it. No, but you can. You, you should have to nominate a, a skill shot. But you don't see it enough. It's don't not. It's not common. Them games because you'll fluke a lot. It's all right for you. You'll play a lot of the fluke. skill shot. I, I would bet now nah, says we don't see one skill shot in this match. You'll play a lot of flukes though. What would you think to that that statement? No, but if they were going to play one, they'd call it. They don't. Flash but ball, but table do you think we'll see one, yes or no? No, probably not. Right, there you go. That's my point. It's not common enough to but, make it cold. But when the ball's travelling around the table 25 times on a bungee rope, knocks a ball in and what I is Ryan the frame Clark for it, I'm fuming with you. Ryan Clark disagrees, Seb, in offs are mainly bad shots. What, going in off on a break? Are you having a laugh? No, they're not. <laughs> not if you get kicked in. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, I think uh, Ryan's on a wind-up here, Jeff, with that uh, comment. I'm going back to that subject. I'm not getting off it. Why do you get a lot of luck? Everybody says that. They're actually talking about the ring piece, aren't they? No, they're not. Well, they are. It's, it's not 3 2 boil, it's 2 2. It's 2 apiece. It means 3 2 after this. Jeff, that black at Celsius versus Lucas, why you hit it that hard? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was me. I'll be honest. Yeah. That's, that's cheating. That is a good, that is a good thing to, to bring up. Seb absolutely smashed this black in. That rare, wasn't it, Jeff? It was a good pot, actually. You killed one well for <laughs> once. <laughs> and when he come back to the crowd, when he come back to his supporters, our team, West Yorkshire, I says, why did you hit that black that hard? He says, in case, it, this is what his words, in case I rattled it, it's got a chance to rattle and float in off another pocket. And, uh, Jeff, can you remember when... <laughs> When I played Sean Stebbins, I don't I can't remember if you remember. I was a two 0 down, no three 0 down, you and I done. had the same shot against Sean Stebbins and I missed it. Your head had gone, and it had gone across. It was that table that came in, didn't it? Yeah, and it went, it went in that pocket. Floked it for and do you know when that went in? I just said, "That's why I hit it that hard," because listen, it's not good rolling. It's you cruel can't though. fluke it if you roll it. Floked a crawl. It's part of the game, Jeff. Crawl though. Uh, that's why. Listen, I think it's one of the best part of the games that has ever been invented is a fluke. If they just if you float them, they just called it a natural shot. It wouldn't be no fun, would it? Well, I never float them. You've never had a float in your life, Jeff. I know. Never, because you roll everything. All I get is bad luck. Yeah, the the, the free shot off the break is an absolute joke, and uh, I don't know who's in charge at rules and who can change it or what. But I've been asking for so long to get the break off rule changed. I don't think it'll ever happen, lads. It, my words have certainly fell on deaf ears, but you never know one day.
that's Cheatham's making his mouth a little bit on it. I think he should have been in this comp, actually. He actually won a spot, Jeff. He won a spot to get it away. Why weren't Daz in this? He won't bonus ball and get it away. Crazy. He gave it to uh, Sean Tipperfield, but I do believe. Tight bags at Net Club 99, said Lee Washbrook. Oh, listen, that's a ridiculous table, to be honest. Uh, that's not how pool should be played, uh, in my opinion, uh, Lee. I think the table is too tight, but uh, Mucker. Scott Moore's in. Even down there, you could put a ball down there. For me, I struggled like note on it. You know I get a lot of bad luck, Scott. You've seen me fuming many a time. Asen Maya makes a good point there, Jeff. Where? Uh, Asen Mia. Asen Maya. He makes a good point. Buzzers like me. Look look at him what he's put there. Should me get bonus frames for Me flutes. too, Jeff. Horrendous run at times. I'm saying, mate. Buzzer, you can't complain about horrendous run, mate. What a nice break that is. You turned up late and I never docked you a frame. How good is that run, Buzz? Some nice music on it back on that. A lot of men in chat box, isn't there, Jeff? Do you think it's a worldwide thing that it's just like men that are interested in pool? Yeah. Or do you, do you think there's any women interested? I think women are interested. But I don't. Just, they, uh, just don't like, they just don't admit it. Yeah, you might be right there, Jeff. Because if you go to a pool hall, Bird always says, oh, why are you playing pool again? Do you have to play pool all the time? I'll tell you what does happen in a pool hall. I mentioned it earlier that you can... We've been here since like nine on the morning. Yeah. Till two in the morning, aren't we? Three nights on trot. And the time just flies, doesn't it? Oh, unbelievable. I mean, uh, unbelievable. this has been the longest weekend of my life. I've never spent as much time as this in a pool hall. Do you know what I mean, Jeff? Yeah, I don't worry. For three days solid. I've been I've been in here at eight past eight, nine o'clock every morning, and I've not been gaining out till like four o'clock. So it's like <laughs> I'm I'm getting home and I'm thinking, can I just somehow chalk chalk it off? Do you it's know what I mean? You've told me that it's first three days what you've done, isn't it? In my life. <laughs> Now this is a <laughs> this is first bit of work I've done in about I'd say a good three years until I last were working behind butcher's bar. He's run on a bit there. Maybe but this this is a total different kind of work. This uh, chef. It is. It's graph this. Young Jack. Uh, young Jack says to me earlier, "Say before faint, pick me up." It was totally done in. I was not know why he slept in this morning. Barry West had to let people in. You hear about that, Jeff? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did, I. Yeah, uh, they were all too busy sleeping. Tom had a drink the other night. I thought he was oh. a bit drunk. He fell asleep. He got in the got in van and fell asleep. He was gone. He had three ciders. I remember an hour 12. Yeah, can't handle his health, Thomas. That's, That's a great shot. shot double great. Boys, I'll tell you, some hour. of these boys are turning it up tonight, aren't they? Starting to turn it on now. To be fair, Paddy Clark, uh, Deck Brennan's missus plays pool more than him. She's a cracking player, though, isn't she? Actually, can you just, uh, just just watch this as a, as a pool fan now? You, you, you can watch this game, and how I'm do you think? Uh, how do you think you'll actually get? It. How do you think you'll actually get on this black step? I'm talking to you as a pool player to pool player. You, are you talking about the route that you, you need to go? I want to tell, I want you to tell me the route you'll go. The rule that I got, I chipped this in a uh, bottom rail. Yeah. You take it white back up the blue spot route. Yeah. You take it ball over the left bottom corner pocket. You put it ball into the left uh, middle pocket, and then you put you leaving the white in line with the register part to put the red, and then go. I oh, can't do it now. He's snookerson. So obviously he's going to leave middle bag to last now, isn't he? But that's the route I would have gone, Jeff. I'd have took the ball left uh, left bottom bag, then middle bag, then corner bag, then black and same bag. It was last red. Yeah, but I'd guarantee if I were <coughs> playing you, that the route you would have gone. No, that, Why should have gone round table that's four That's route times. that I tried to go on. Oh, is that, are you trying to do it when you don't do it? Listen, I was talking about this earlier. <laughs> People learn about these uh, sat-navs. And I was just explaining that uh, the really good, like the top players in the game, like big him up here, he's totally let me down, hasn't he? And this is what I was saying earlier that uh, it doesn't seem to be playing that great, to be it's honest. It's, it's not, not, it's, I think the pace of this table is just catching him a little it's, bit. It's not, Jeff, it's not that, mate. You know yourself his route were wrong there. 
A bit more wrong. Because, because it, it, I think he did try to go on the one yeah. you said. Up, up. That one where he's touching now, that should have been his second ball after this one on the bottom cushion. I'm not sure what's happened there, Mark. Knock Summit and... Uh, uh, I'm just looking at Jacob. Does Oak need sorting out there, man? He's knocked some plugs or something, mate. Uh, I was just saying, Jeff, uh, earlier on in commentary box, what separates uh, the really top players from... Not even the club players. Uh, Ryan, you're out. I can't get over it. I ain't slept yet. <laughs> the thing that separates them, Jeff, is uh, the white wall. They're not better potters than uh, like most players. Still for a night. Great shot, that, that is. He's still got an hard shot here. Yeah, this is not, not easy. <coughs> My shot here for me. Bottom left hand side. On three rails. He could come three rails, but he's got chance. He's I don't think he can go two. Uh, he can't it go can. one. He can go. He can go one. He could. Go, I think he needs to go three. He can go one. <coughs> what separates the like the top players from like players like say myself uh, is mainly the white ball. If you've got a good white, like for me, Andy Appleton's got a really good white ball, and he plans his routes far better than what I plan them. He knows what routes to go, doesn't he? Andy should do. He's been playing for about four years now. Uh, I, oh, I think it's a uh, terrible that. Well, I said in his last match, I, 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 I don't know what, what's up with him. You say, you say, uh, you keep hearing that these. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, you're not like you're not wrong when you're saying that these bags are generous, but they've, they've still got to be there a oh, lot of times. They don't just swallow balls, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I saw Scott Gillespie w miss one on the other game in semi final, and he thought it were in. Much bag was consumed in Murphy's this weekend. Answer at top of screen. Oh, it's top of the screen. This is looking like 4 2, boys. Oh, 1.4k. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've just been informed here there's 1,800 watching at a minute. So there's 800, 1,800 people listening to me and you talk. Oh! <laughs> Wow, this this is this could turn out to be a big frame. It's good. There again, look, Mark thought he killed that well. And it yeah, but he's got he's made sure that he's got a good wire as well, hasn't he, Jeff? If you come <coughs> to these uh, tables in about another two week, they'll be totally different oh. tables. They'll be tight. That right, obviously, I used to play for Corn Exchange, so the difference between uh, Murphy's and the Corn Exchange is the Corn Pockets. Uh, Probably the biggest pockets in pool, without a doubt. And it's not a bad thing. I used to love playing at Corn because the pockets are that big. It's <laughs> very hard to miss, Jeff. Do you know what I mean? I don't like big pockets. I know you. Like obviously, it. you love uh, tight pockets. But like me personally, and Sheppy, like you, oh, Jordan Shepherd, he loves big pockets, doesn't he? Yeah, he loves them. It's it's all about preference, I suppose. But obviously, at Corn, the t the pockets are pretty pretty big. To be honest, probably the biggest in pool. But at Murphy's in a couple the of weeks, these will be really tight. I know the match table at uh, Scunthorpe are massive. What, Tom Tom Barley played? Yeah, um, uh, Mikey Tomlinson. Mikey Tomlinson on. Yeah. I know Mikey said they were absolutely... Of course, I've played a couple of matches on that table myself. and uh, I think he's just going for a fluke here, Jeff. Uh, trying to get a better run. He's had probably the worst run possible. Because uh, Mark's got tappings now. Tappings for 4-2. And uh, you'd have to say at minute he's looking by far the steadier player. Yeah, Liam just seems to be a bit. I did. I did call it in his last match. Yeah, you did. There's some. I think there's. To be honest, I think there's a few been complaining about him playing slow, and I think it, if they've said something to him off the table, and it, it might be a little bit. I know where uh, Gazza but came up and just said to him, "Look, I just want to apologise uh, for people in last match uh, cheering a bit too loudly. Let's just say." For uh, Gaz and uh, Liam just said, "Oh no, no bother. It's not your fault, Gaz." But uh, Liam complained to the referee, saying, "Look, can you have a word?" But I don't, I don't think it's that, Jeff. I just think I don't, I've watched his last three matches now. He's just not playing that good. I think he's. You can't play good all the time, can you? You can't say he's not playing good. He's in the final at English Open. That just shows you how good he is, though. But. Are you aware that in his last match, Gazi fouled six times off the break? And if it uh, were dry two and uh, dry six, he uh, fouled six, sorry. 
Well, obviously, I didn't, like I said, I didn't have an absolutely brilliant. I, I got Mark me, obviously, so. And he beat me 11 7. Yeah. And uh, so I say, I've been watching a lot of ball, and, and I will be totally honest now. The two, obviously, Liam impresses you because of his temper. Like you've just said, his temperament has been been poor this game, but it's, it's usually fantastic, in it? John McDaddy, just one one quick thing, mate. Uh, I can guarantee you, this is a I know biggest pockets in the world, and it's Con Exchange match table. That's an absolute hundred percent guaranteed fact. I've played on the, well, I've played on every single table in Murphy's, and you can ask anybody that's ever played pool. That the biggest pockets in the world is the coin exchange table. That's an absolute guaranteed fact. I don't care what anybody says. I know because I've played <laughs> every single money match in the last uh, 12 months in in either ear or corn. And I know how big corner corn pockets are. But what I'm going to say, said before, no, sorry, Jeff, before, before that, is I've watched a lot of pool this weekend. And in all of the players that's impressed me, it's this lad here. Mark Boyle. Yeah. I know he would do a good run, Jeff, because he's had a couple of... But I will be honest, I've changed my mind about three or four times before I thought we were going to win it. I'll be honest, eh? Uh, I thought Mark at first, <coughs> then I changed my mind to Liam, and then I saw the focus in Mark fans with... Liam's Liam just got to be careful here, because uh, he keeps getting to these big finals and he keeps uh, losing. And... You know yourself, you do not want to keep going to finals and be known as a serial loser, do you, Jeff? Well, you don't know, but he'll, uh, he'll settle down. It's, far, it's only far too. Yeah, he's, uh, listen, he's got the temperament to uh, turn it right round and uh, give Santa a great chance of winning, but as he's lost, obviously, the first two events of the... Uh, players series at Lee Kendall's club. Darren Whiteside, Ben Davis beat 11 early. That was crazy, that. I'll be yeah. honest now. He, he ben, was, uh, Ben's been phenomenal over this weekend. He played an unbelievable match against, uh, I think it was Dylan Mitchell. But then he's, he's, he's lost to... 11 no. He's lost to Scott. That he just shows you how crazy it is. Absolutely crazy. That's when a lot of people are changing their mind. Scott Gillespie's going to win this. Mark Barnes was going to win this. Mark Barnes going to win this. Liam Dunton. It's been absolutely phenomenal pull from a Listen, lot of them. We know that uh, all these top lads are always getting to the latter ends of tournaments. Mark Rose is uh, Mark Ball's biggest fan. He's proper link it, licking his bum all at minute, Jeff. I'm not going to lie. He is. Uh, he's embarrassing himself. I know, he's had a few to drink. He's, he's, he's buying him Mars bars. And everything. Know, Mark, Mark do you want a Mars bar for a bit of sugar? He just passed him a Mars bar and a bottle of water. And, uh, God, well, the lesson on that, the better is, uh, <laughs> I wonder how Mark Ball feels. He must be feeling a little bit embarrassed. But what I want to say is, uh, I know these top lads get to latter end of tournaments all the time. <coughs> but the players that have really impressed me this weekend is uh, the players such as Adam Myerscough for the game that he produced against Mark Farnsworth. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. For the player that nobody's ever heard of, Jeff. Do you know, know what I mean? And tell and just tell just share with the people what he actually said about meeting the all players. Oh honestly, we're absolutely off at moon, I couldn't believe it. Just he's such a nice guy as well. He was just buzzing one of the he says, I can't even believe I'm in the same room as all these professional pool no, players. He, honestly, he's that, that's what really like shook with me, like it it uh, it Really struck with me like comments like that from obviously, like I said, a post on Facebook uh, about a week ago. He's just got back into pool this year, he's like won every trophy in his league. But he's like, he's like coming here and meeting all these players. He says, he says, uh, I'll be happy to get two frames against Mark Farnsworth. But the way that he played that match is uh, absolutely unreal. And yeah. then uh, players such as John Turn, the crowd that they're fetched in. When he played Ben Davis, yeah. and it went until three o'clock in the morning because it was such a, a long match. It was absolutely unbelievable, and that that kind of guys that actually met these tournaments for me. I know the top guys are always going to be knocking it about at latter enders, but you need these guys in pool like Adam Myers, Coffers, Mark's morning again. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. What's happening, Jeff? Try not. Jeff's going to nip for a toilet break. I'm not. I'm not sure what's going off with, with racking.
So Mark uh, ready to break off. He's, he's hitting that Brett really well. He's not made a ball this time though, I'm afraid. He's, uh, he's not made a ball this time. Uh, he's hitting it really well. I'm not, it's just having a word with referee. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what problem why. Uh, I'll have a try and get a word off Mark or referee and see if we can uh, find out what's going off there, lads. Listen, you can't blame referee. <laughs> Jesus Christ. M Michael, Mini Hearts and Rich, stop it. You must be on a wind up here. That name just sticks out every time she comes. Lola La Rocket. Some middle name that is. La Rocket. I'm guessing you must class yourself as a pretty decent bird. Just trying to get them to kind of calm down in the crowd. <coughs> Obviously, there were a few people, a few drinks, few bets going. I just don't want it to get to that stage where people are getting too excited. Uh, just trying to nip it in bud pretty early, to us, to be honest. <coughs> My back. Yeah, you're back, Jeff. Uh, Liam's just uh, Mark Brock off dry, and Liam's gone for a shot, and it's pretty wild, to be honest. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm pretty worried for Liam at the minute. Hmm? I'm you pretty worried for him. I don't like his chances in this match at all. It's not looking good, to be but fair. As soon as it, it, it white's gone in, there's a few lads to my left that have uh, celebrated a little bit, saying, "Oh dear, oh dear." I don't want that to spoil. Do you know what I mean, Jeff? Yeah, it's been. It, it don't want to So I've just told them to pipe down, and they're looking a little bit shocked at, as if they're not allowed to start shouting stuff. And to be honest, I won't allow it. Nice shot there to develop the yellow. Yeah, good shot from Mark. He uh, don't, don't need help from outside interference. I agree, Scott. He's never out of a game, but I think he needs to get his head started. He looks a bit dejected. I don't, I don't think it's fatigue. He's, he's, he's been playing uh, He's playing, been playing same as Mark, basically. I think you've just got to understand that people will always have a favourite and he just doesn't seem to have many fans there, to be fair. But Listen, there's uh, Chris Hall, no chance, buddy. I don't block people that have already got blocked. So uh, if you're on my block list, there's obviously a good reason for it. Uh, yeah, it's going to cost you quite a few thousand pound to get off that on block list. What was that? Yeah, Chris Hall. I'm not sure if you know him, Jeff. I don't know him. I don't actually know him myself, but if he's on my block list for some reason, then I'm guessing it's a pretty damn good reason. Thing is, lads, I just... Uh, I, know that, I know that all, but... Yeah, Paddy, uh, listen, mate. I've seen it happen in too many tournaments, and <laughs> yeah, Jeff's uh, cracking jokes again, lads. I've seen it happen in too many uh, tournaments, mate, where people start getting rowdy and just ruin it for everybody else. And uh, listen, I know people have got bets on, they've got cow cutters going off, but you still need to have a little bit of etiquette, a little bit of respect. And uh, that's one of the things that when all Irish lads came over, they said uh, one of the best crowds they've ever played in front of here in Ronan McCarthy and Matt Farns, what they like. <coughs> One of the best venues I've ever played in because the atmosphere was that good. And uh, first time a bit of, a bit of order. They even spotted me telling uh, people to quieten it down. So I just think it's the right thing to do. Even if uh, they've got bets on boil, then show some respect to Liam. Do you know what I mean, Jeff? Yeah, I've got to do. I 
I don't even know who's this fucking. So if I swear to people, I'm just trying to work out who people are and so I'm getting a bit. <sighs> it's uh, no, it's five. It's five k to one half k, isn't it? Yeah. Talking to Mark before he before he come on, he says uh, he'd love to have more tournaments here. He's enjoyed it that much. Not just because yeah. not just because he's got far. <coughs> he says he's really loved it, and he says he's coming back to green cloth after the blow. Is, it's just been like coming home. Yeah, he said that to me the uh, other night. Uh, he said he, he's forgot how good the cloths actually are. Obviously, he don't like the cloths that the players see. Was what Kendall's put on tables. Uh, them stracken. They are awful, Jeff. I'm not gonna lie. Listen, people can blow smoke up people's asses all day long, can't they? I like people that just say it how it is. And other, other, other poor like Yeah, I'm Mark Boyle likes to put a comment on there. Obviously, Lee's gone to this grey cloth now, isn't it? that struck and have produced what series. And it might put a comment on last night saying, well, it's about time because we've ever played on that shit that we were playing on. And I like people like that that just say it how it is, Jeff. The same with cloth, second to none, isn't it? Be- well, all people have said they've forgot how good it actually was. Because they haven't had a chance to play it in that long, because they're putting these blow cloths on these strachan cloths, yeah. and uh, they forgot how good it actually was. But like you said, Mark just said it, it before finally said to me, he said, "I can't believe how good the cloths are." He says uh, they're far better than what we've been playing on, what we, what we've been told that was what we've got to play on. Mm. It's like we ain't got a choice no more. He says, "Great venue, uh, great tables." He says, "All people have been friendly as well, which uh, you don't get in many pool halls, to be honest." And a, lo- a big thing, what bar staff, Jeff? Uh, a lot of people say bar staff very friendly. That's a big thing for me because I, I did have a word with Tommy about that. I said bar staff have always got to be spot on, Tom. You not got it bar though, so you won't know. <laughs> Do I have to stop drinking all weekend, me? The most electrifying org- organizer in the world of eight ball that can drink whenever he wants. To be fair, I've heard glowing reports for you, mate. I'm not lying. <coughs> Well yeah, said you've it's been fanta- good, mate. It's been fantastic. That's why I just tried to dip bite bud straight away. I don't want people getting out of order. You know what I mean? You don't want people getting affected in the final and it ruining the whole competition. The job's not done till it's done, is it, Jeff? Going to let you sit. I'll let, with me not knowing what they like, but I've never played on blow. Mark, Mark Miles. What's the difference between blue and green cloth apart from the obvious? Well, what, what is the obvious? Obviously, the, the blue, colour. the blue cloth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no nap on a blue cloth. It's a uh, Simonese cloth, so there's no nap. But I always prefer, the, as the legend Pat McDermott would say, "How can a cloth not be napped and be good? It can't be. If it's not napped, it's not good. Simple as that." Is that right, Jeff? Would you agree with that? It's like it's like. Jakob's just said it's it's, it's just a speed cloth. Yeah, it's correct. And, and you can surely you can remember being from Sesku area with speed cloths. They were on pretty much every club in area, weren't they? Well, they were in Barnsley anyway. I tell you what, lads, I live in Banbury, and every single pool table in Banbury currently also has a speed cloth on it. And I'm Jacob, not even joking. Why is that? I have no because idea. Because it's cheap and it lasts about three years. Yeah, that's Horrendous. why. And that's why the IPA have got these blue powder Simonese cloths on. But when but when you hear all the top pros preferring this, do yeah. it says some, so it yeah, says something, it does. doesn't it? It's, listen, it shocks me. Reggie goes in the chat box. Reggie, it was nice that you just left, mate. We had no explanation. You didn't even come and see me to tell me you were leaving, pal. I'm pretty disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I think Reggie's jealous that I'm in box. Look, he's commented it. I think he don't like it. He no, wants to be near you. Listen, he's got no excuse because I did ask him to do the semi final and he let me down. And he knows he let me down, Jeff. He, he needs you, though. He, he wants to be near you. Right, are we, are we missing some of the chat box here? Come on, Santa. You know the best players in the world occupy armchairs. Never miss the ball from the sanctuary of their laptop. Well, Nick Finn, are we missing some of the NFL? I don't think we've said all bad for Jeff about this balls. I think one of the highlights of this tournament is Reginald Lee played quite well, didn't he? Still proving he can do it. it he played better in uh, on the table than he did in box. He played quite Seb, well. It certainly ain't cheap. It's dearer than Ainsworth. No, it's definitely not. It's it definitely not dearer than Ainsworth. It don't matter whether it's dearer or not. It's how long it lasts. They just do it. It's not as good. No Santa, matter what Santa, says. I promise you, buddy. Actually, speak to the players. Don't ever compare the blue cloth with this cloth. We're talking leagues and leagues above, mate. You can ask Mark Boyle for that matter. He'll confirm it with you. You can ask any player out there. 
Uh, it's, it's definitely not. Uh, they might have put price up now. IPA have took it on board, but you don't know that it was free. Agree, Paddy Clark. A nap clock. Cloth is for shot makers. That's true. Exactly, Paddy. I'm, I'm probably the biggest shot maker in this game, mate. I'm not going to lie. I'm not being big headed, but I am the biggest shot maker in the game because I fall out of position that much. I need to make these shots. If I don't make these shots, I'm not making bread. Do you know what I mean? Reggie has smashed the bag the weekend. Seb, he's got the wall. It's true, Kelly. I'm just looking at your comment there, boy. A bit of infos in his. I've been saying it all That's weekend. A great you, ca you, can't, you can't let him get away, can you, Jeff? No, fantastic player. Really impressed with him. Ben Rowland look green all the way. And Ben plays on IPA, Jeff. On blue cloths. Yeah, he wants, listen, to, he wants the, to be back on. Do you know these club owners, right, listen... I know they're all biased because they've got them on in the clubs and whatever, but be realistic. We're talking levels and levels and levels. It's like compa uh, comparing Old Trafford to uh, what, what ground? Uh, Portman Road. Do you know what I mean? It's something like that, isn't it? Cousins won't even play on it. Cousins won't play on below, yeah. I don't blame him. I like doubling the ball and uh, you you can't double truly on a blue cloth. It reacts completely differently, mm. straightens back up again like the old speed cloths. Horrible. I know I'm not at the same level as you boys, but... That's on a shot he had on there, Mark. He had to attempt to across the go across the table and try and pot it, but that, that's showing his confidence at the minute. I think he's... Yeah. He's stamped his authority on this game. I think he, I think he's sensed that Liam's not himself. And to Jakob. Do you know what? Liam was exactly the same in the finals of the um, Supreme Series in the first one. Yeah. Um, he he got to the final and I was there and he looked exactly the same. He looked meek, like he was lacking in energy. I mean, he's closed his eyes a few times and, and just sat there with his eyes closed. I see. And, uh, and he really looks like he's waning. Well, it's not the time to wane, is it? No, definitely not. <laughs> it's the time to produce. It's li it is literally the worst time he could possibly be waning. Yeah, he needs to produce. This is way back into the match, isn't it, Jeff? He needs to get these. He definitely is way back into the match. He probably sat in his chair there thinking 6 2. And uh, he's struggling maybe to see a way back, isn't he? No, I think it's too good to just give up. But No, but you know, it's like with Jeff, when, you, when you're falling further and further behind and you're not playing great, negative thoughts to go through your mind. Correct. But this is a big frame of match, I feel. But it's a shame if he just uh, rolls over for him. After how he's played all weekend. It might be in his head as well that uh, <coughs> might be beating 11 for the early event, you know what I mean, Jeff? I fully expect him to get this finish, though. Because uh, I'm just looking at that middle pocket and that, that yellow because Jeff I so think it drops in, doesn't it? It um, <coughs> nice and steady drops in there. It's not it's not too tight. It might look tight on on screen, but it goes that definite. Over Seb, you drunk. What's Das cheating on about? And he's got a bit of romance with <coughs> Reggie on here. Yeah, hey, it's, not it's, it's nice to see when they're getting it on. It's when they've had a drink, they just get it on, don't they? Cheers, Andy, I will take you up on your advice, pal. Yeah, a bit of bromance. So Andy's getting out free information again, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. There's so much going off in there. Hey. Gr <laughs> <laughs> Graham Hampson getting Reggie some stick there, Jeff. Where? Reggie is a cock a doodle -do. That's a bit of hard, Graham. Yeah, yeah listen, mate. Yeah, I already a pal. Uh, Reg is a lovely, lovely guy, and uh, he doesn't need that abuse. Sam asked Seb, "What do you think of this mystery grey cloth that everyone's going to be facing very soon without any practice?" Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic, Sam. <laughs> all, all the players are looking forward to that, mate. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Why do they do it? Why do uh, they change things? Like Sam, that? how do you feel, mate, about uh, getting shafted at last the players' event? <laughs> Any words? 
That's a bit below the belt. Oh, Sam's a quiet one. You don't like to talk about people, do you know what I mean? How's about, tell us how you really feel, Sam. Tell us what you really feel about beer productions and uh, Lee Kendall. If you've got any words, that is, Sam. Or have you been asked for the next event? Have they tried wearing the way back in, pal? I'm just trying to help you get your stuff off your chest. Because there's too many people getting away with too many things in this poor world. And Seb Webb's going to start calling people out and letting people know exactly what they're doing. Yeah, so... What's that like? Am I getting well, filled in? Or uh, Sam, do well, it? you know Sam Jones has been here helping Jake out yeah. with the camera stuff and that. Yeah. And he's uh, been involved with the first two events at Players. Oh, yeah. And uh, the last event, he's got his hotels, his travel. He's got down there and then they've told him that he's not needed. So he's spent a pretty penny to get down there to help him out. Wow. He had and a he's got the he's not needed. He'd had a he had an email <coughs> from his solicitor um asking him to have a meeting with him on the Sunday and he told the streaming company that he wouldn't be able to be there on Sunday but he could do the other two days and uh they let him travel to the venue and then he told him to told him that he wasn't needed. Wow. Yeah. Which so really uh, unfortunate. It's not it's fortunate, not fortunate. Yeah, Jacob. I mean, it's not nice. It's not it? fortunate, mate. Well, let's be honest about it. It's a uh, capital K well, untish. Well, well, at the end of the day, I mean, it's unfortunate that they, they, they've lost Sam because actually he's a fantastic. Very good. He very good. He does a very good job. He's uh, streamed of my match before when I played uh, Ash Walker at Towers. Yeah. His, that, his streaming qualities are absolutely second to none, to be honest. You uh, you have no idea how much he, me and him talk and how yeah. much uh, has gone into, how much preparation I know he's helped Jack Hart as well. He's yeah. helped Jack Hart in here with streaming and yeah. stuff. And I can Listen, see they've lost a vital asset there, in my yeah, opinion. Definitely. And it's their loss. And it's a bit of maybe your gain or somebody else's gain. Yeah. Who knows? But listen. One loss is somebody else's gain. It's well, correct. And uh, if I was Sam, I would have come out and actually said what I said to... Uh, well, I'm Shankers, okay. basically. Well, as it goes, I'm going to be working quite closely with Sam from now on. Um, we get on really well. Yeah. And, uh, we've got quite a few things planned. That's we can do this. your gain, then? <laughs> your gain, then? Yeah, yeah. we'll just say. Indeed. Yeah. So, listen, fair play. Uh, somebody just put the Lee Kendall I knew years ago is a sneaky little fox. That's why he's called the fox. That's his nickname, isn't it? The fox. I'd just like to put it out there, it had nothing to do with Kendall. No, I'm, I'm not saying it is, but no, somebody's put that, in. that no, is his nickname, I'm, the fox I'm, in it. I'm just telling the who the people in the comments that it's nothing to do with Kendall. No, that, uh, that's what I wasn't insinuating, by the way, I was reading a comment from Kelly Reardon, but I, I do believe his nickname is the fox. I don't know if that's true or not, but I did see that. Sam Jones, top lad, yeah, quite right. Right, I need to go for comfort bet, lads. Go for me, that shut up, yeah. <laughs> Seb's just saying his voice is going. I can't get a word in for him. He doesn't pause for long, does he? <laughs> no, don't come up for air, does he? To be fair, a lot of it is he's actually talking sense, but uh, how he's got that much going on in his head that he can talk for that long is quite astonishing. To be honest, it does seem quieter now he's gone, doesn't it? Good, isn't it, that actually? It's good, isn't it? She's good. <laughs> yeah, Callum, it sure is. He never shuts up, does he? But like I've said, mate, he's done a good job here this week. I'm not going to knock him. He's arranged this tournament. He's got all top players here, and to see them all here is fantastic. I even put a little post on my Facebook this morning for. We call it Sesquil because it's South Emsel, South Kirby and Upton. So we shorten it to South Emsel, South Kirby, Upton, Sesquil. I've just put on my Facebook that if you want to see some top pros play pool, get your centre along and there's a few in here. It's good to see them. I think a few put them on like a, a bit of a pedestal. Even though I know that I'm not making out the, the superstars, but 
There's a load coming for selfies and that. And True, was it? I can get a word in now. It makes your ears bleed when you sat near him, I'll tell you. But like I know they've raffled some, uh, they've done some, to get 64 entries, I know they've run some qualifiers and that. I think after this success, I don't think they'll struggle to get 64 next time. I think that a lot of players will jump at it. Troll Jenks it. I've had a minute to exercise my tonsils. But I think it's a fantastic fuck game. He's back now anyway. I'm not I'm not bullying up me, too Jeff? much. <laughs> I just came back and I heard you it's a fantastic fuck game. You are so right, obviously you must have been on about me. Only for a couple of seconds, mate. Yeah, listen, then I can I can take it, lads, I can take it. Shut up, William. William <laughs> tell. You haven't got the commentator's voice, get so back on. You don't shine. What do you think William Tell's winding you up, G? William Tell's winding me up. <laughs> I think it's because I told him that he put a bit of weight on earlier. I don't think he liked it. A bit of weight? I said to him, you've put a bit of weight on, Billy. He says, well, I've had a lot on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, He's had a lot on his plate for the last 18 months, mate. Yeah, uh, I put a picture on uh, not long ago, I believe 12 months ago, and Jesus Christ, he couldn't believe it himself. Jenks says that I reckon Seb even talks in his sleep. It oh, my Jenks, listen, I reckon he doesn't he even stop. Stop being jealous. He do not sleep. Do you know how jealous Jenks? I'll Did tell you, you what, <coughs> Jenks, when he's sleeping, sounds hilarious. He's got this funny, funny little snore, like a little. <laughs> it's just, it's just, uh, it's well, so slept, jealous though, Jacob. He lives with me. Oh, does he? Jenks, yeah, yeah ja uh, sorry, Jacob. Why is he so jealous? It's I'm Jacob. I'm not sure. Can't yeah, it's not Jacob, it's Jacob. Jacob. Give me some. Oh, so he's got a name that pronounces we are fucking Y. Language. Sorry for swearing people, but uh, yeah, Jacob's name is pretty Still ridiculous. Snake <laughs> and it's pretty ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. There were a tennis player once called Jacob Larsek. I'm not being funny, mate. Yeah, I'm not being funny, right? But your name's Paul. <laughs> but I don't pronounce, it, pronounce, I don't Seb, pronounce it? it with a J or an L. Do you know what I mean, people? Come on, give me an I-5. You think that it's absolutely ridiculous? I heard Seb talking, actually. I've got a little joke for you. You might not like it, but I like it. Uh, I heard Seb talking to... Jacob earlier, and he called him Jacob, and he says, it's not Jacob, it's Jacob, he says, it's a silent J. He says, oh, all right then, mate, he says, uh, where are you going for your holiday, Seb, this year? He says, Seb says, Majorca. Jacob <laughs> says, it's not Majorca, it's Majorca, it's a silent J. He says, all right, he says, I keep getting them mixed up, don't I? He says, when are you going anyway, Seb? He says, you know you lie. <laughs> 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 oh. Brilliant. The <laughs> force. The force is on top form. Unbelievable, Jeff. Tell you what, it was packed out here last night. Packed in here last night. I, said, I went outside to the van. I saw two old football referees I used to know arguing. I said, don't you two be kicking off. Stop <laughs> 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 oh. it. I need to have a quiet with Jeff for oh. cracking jokes that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. Well done. Cheers. Donna Evans just, uh, oh sorry, Donna Coates off there just signing out. She's I'd going. just like to say to Donna, absolute cracking job all weekend. She's been first class Jeff uh, from the first game on Friday. Yeah. Until uh, uh, and Matt have been fantastic. Yeah, they've been unbelievable. Yeah. Any problems on the nip to it, but straight away. I don't think any players complained about a referee all weekend, which is pretty unusual, to be honest. <coughs> Gareth like Ayres, uh, Gareth's, like uh, Gareth's a good friend of Reggie's and uh, Kevin Malls. Like uh, thanks, Gareth, pal. Stop it, G. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Gaskill. Gash. Gash. They're all saying it, to be fair. Yeah, but they like it, really. They only tell you to stop it when they want it. Yeah, I know. They're loving it, they're loving it aren't they, G? Mm. 
you're not you're, you're a bit shy as well. You you were you were struggling to come in at first, weren't you, Jeff? No. Nah, so I asked you to come in for the semi final, and you were like, oh. yeah, but I just said it's, it's a really expert. It's like a professional outfit. I'm well, on I'm on like a to stream as soon as we're I saw this. We're just part timers, aren't we? I thought this elite. It's it's a bit too much for me. I thought I can't sit near Jacob and and, and produce goods, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I've got into it. <laughs> Oh, listen, we had Reggie Gillick coming to box earlier with me and Lurkin and uh, he ended up quitting, Jeff. Look, I used to be on stage, me, look, Martin Hazel knows, he says I need to be back on stage with Lee Lard, I wanted to come and you me, the nose. Oh, no, that one, mate. I, uh, I actually seen Lee Lard, who were advertised around here not long ago, I think it was last week. Yeah, he's good, Lee. He's doing his, I used to be in a comedy duo, actually, with uh, a lad called Lee Sullivan, he goes as uh, he does a Peter K tribute, he's absolutely fantastic. Yes, I've uh, I've seen him before myself. He's uh, very good, and he was advertised round here about a week ago. Yeah, he does all. Uh, we used to do like just working men's clubs and holiday camps, but he does like really corporate stuff now. He's, he's done right good now, isn't he? Yeah, he does well. Yeah, but he's, he's actually still doing a few uh, working men's clubs and stuff. Does he still a working men's yeah, club? Yeah, he was doing a week working men's club when I seen it advertised. Uh, but obviously he's still doing big events and uh, he does big events yeah but obviously they must be paying a pretty penny to get him back on it working with the clubs yeah they'll have to pay for him because I know he does well he's only from uh, he's only from um, Asken where Hayes lives well Hayes is a scunny lad now isn't he he's, he's yeah he's, he's japped his roots he's quit his job and he's uh, gone Jeff he should have been in this in fact yeah I said him uh, Friday he was actually a bit gutted if he's still listening Martin uh, he actually said to us me and my dad at comedy box I wish he'd have entered now yeah he'll be next time. I've just been saying said when you were at Tyler I says uh, you've done you've done some qualifiers and stuff I'm just saying you've done some qualifiers and stuff to get a full team in A64 but oh I yeah, I don't think you'll struggle next time. <coughs> no, definitely not because uh, Jeff, it was a bad day at this for a few people. It's been uh, yeah, it's I been that much of a success. I think you'd get 128 runners now, man, 64. But, but we don't want on one. No, I'm saying, but you'd, you'd get them if you if you wanted them. Yeah, but what it wanted, it, obviously we got 64. That's all we ever planned to get because Paddy Clark stopped telling out. Uh, You're in on it, aren't you, Pad? The China up and the uh, China comp going off, isn't there? And uh, yeah, there's, Clint, there's, there's Clint. Lester Tor. Yeah, there's Clint not there. So obviously Mikkel had to pull out for his China event. Clint. Uh, and the, the likes of Rob Chilton, yeah. Sean Story. Oh, there were so yeah. many people that committed to Lester Tor that they couldn't actually enter it. Yeah, I know Sean Story didn't come either because uh, he put a car for sale and I, was like, I liked it. What? Hang on a minute, what's this here, Jeff? And I texted him about it. I, I thought, thought Seb come. was till I back him in a double... Andy183. Oh, I thought Seb was shite. Is that meant Jamie Simmons? I thought Seb was till I back him and me in a double on the 183. Great commentary. Shite, yeah. Anyone know what they're going on about? <laughs> Tony Mason, mate, listen. Take you in here, that, and listen to this. This is one time only. Ben Yellow, McGill would have cleaned up. I know that. Uh, oh, easy to say that, Paul. Let's not be. Let's not be hasty. Chris Dyson wasn't compy. He thought he was going to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, to be fair, he did over a few up. <laughs> Somebody just put the. Oh, Gabriel Malva, that is who's joining his team. Fair play, Martin. Uh, came back on wagon straight away, Paul. I know he's worked there for over 20 years, Jeff, and he's had to quit. Because, uh, he's well, basically, he's not getting treated well enough, so... Well, al already, just from names you can think of, so it will be in it next time when you run your next one. Yeah. Like, such as your Clint's, your oh, Sean well. Storr, <coughs> your Mikkels, they'll all be here. Phil Harrison. Phil Harrison, he had to commit to Leicester Tour, do you know what I mean, Jeff? We lost a lot of players to that Leicester Tour, but, he, listen, it was just bad timing, but hopefully next year, people have seen how it's running and the sync tables, the quality... Seb best, Jeff. I only Listen, back Seb for value. But I will tell you now, hundred percent guarantee. I get you. Hundred percent guarantee. We will not struggle for sixty-four next time out. So I'm just going to say when it does go live and we start to get into that, do not miss out. I'm not sure, Daniel. You, you best. Jamie Seb Simmons. Seb why, why did Phil Addison not intimate? I don't it, know. We're at Leicester Tour. Oh, is that at Leicester yeah, Tour? Yeah, he's uh, committed to Leicester Tour uh, with Dom Cooney and. Uh, Rob Chilton, Jeff. Yeah, so... Listen. Oh, yeah, there'll be Rob next time as well. Listen, they'll all be entered. Rob, Rob was so keen on entering this event, but 
because he had family coming over as well and he had a birthday meal going off. He couldn't actually get out of it, so he, listen, Rob will be in it. Rob's a quality player, Jeff, you know Rob Shilton. Well, Rob's playing in October, here. In here, yeah, October Jordan. 13th. That'll be a cracking game. I think uh, that will be very close, him and, him and Shep. Yeah, it'll be a cracking game. Nice to see him, Liam, get another one on oh, that, that you He's one player that I love to watch, he's Rob Chilton. You don't want it to run away with it, so it's nice to, f to see Liam get one here. I think... Uh, yeah, this is a well-timed finish, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah, it is. Rob's, uh, Rob's, uh, Rob and his dad, I love them both, do you know what I mean? Uh, I love Rob's dad, he's quality, absolute quality. I was, uh, he's got a lot of time for me, I've got a lot of time for him, and I love watching Rob play, to be honest. He's nice to watch, isn't he? He's got a... Uh, must have smallest queue in pool, without a doubt. Yeah, it's only like a little uh, <laughs> little kid's queue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he could probably like put it in his pocket if he wanted to. But he's such a nice guy and his dad's quality as well. So, yeah, we're going to welcome them at Murphy's in October, Jeff, aren't we? Yes. And uh, hopefully we'll see a cracking game between him, him and Shepard. I will be here, lads, and uh, we'll, we'll have the best of order for that match, without a doubt. Uh, that's one thing that... Uh, 50k, isn't it, that one? It's a big money match, Jeff, isn't it? And that, that's one thing that I've always said when I came to these money matches at Murphy is that they need to shed that reputation that uh, sometimes they get on money matches where, like Sheffield against Wad, we had that incident where somebody cracked him, but it won't actually know to do with the club. That was somebody from outside the club, wasn't it, Jeff? Can yeah, you remember? I can remember, yeah. And it just uh, it nearly all spoiled a great evening, but like I said, uh, we'll shed that reputation when we're going to have the best of order on the 13th of October and we're going to watch one of the best money matches you're likely to see in pool, to be honest. Because uh, you don't you don't see that many big games between the top guys because they're all scared of playing each other. So it's nice to see when they actually do go head to head and they battle it out big time, isn't it, Jeff? Mm, they're on about big money games here, like Gazibet v Dunster and Carl v Dunster. You it won't happen. They don't seem to... I'll be honest now, do you? I've been told that Liam don't like money matches. Have you really? Yeah, uh. I've been. That's what I've been told from Scottish lads that he don't like money matches. Listen, that's not a bad thing, he, is it? Yeah, we're born for them, aren't we? I, I love money matches. Me, I love atmospheres. I, I love all interacting with crowd and stuff like that. But listen, not everybody's same. Love them. You don't see all top players play money matches week in week out. Do you know what I mean? McKill for one. Never had one, has he? Sebastian Jeff, if he ever went for that job cleaning miners. Cleaning mirrors. I mirrors, was it? You could see Sen doing that. <laughs> good and Gasha. Seb v Potts would be a good game. Who? Oh? Seven Potts. <laughs> Gaz Potts? I'd, I'd teach him about 4 a.m. You know that, boys. Played at Murphy's loads of times, top club, top tables, top people. That's Ryan. Cheers, Lego that, that, That's Ryan. That, that Ryan Clark, Ryan's yeah. A, he's already becoming a legend at his age, isn't he? Yeah, he's is, got a Lego head, though, Jeff. He's a lovely kid. Yeah, but what's his head look like? Oh, I love him, mate. Piece of Lego. Oh, he's good. <laughs> good. Good. Well, sure, let's not, uh, let's not get into that tonight, mate. We all know what uh, idiots like on Facebook, so and so, but. This is all about me and the me and the force, Jeff Allen, watching uh, the Magic Man, Mark Boyle, and uh, Liam Dunster. <coughs> this is um, a quick frame. Don't see him a minute. I know we're talking about other stuff, but don't see him a minute since I saw Liam clean up last yeah, one. Now. Mark's missing absolutely nothing a minute. It's seven far by the look of it. He's missing absolutely nothing. Does I went to the doctor's Friday. I says I feel like a pair of curtains. Is just pull yourself together. <laughs> That's definitely one of the worst I've ever heard. Why would you go to the doctor's and said I feel like a pair of curtains? Does don't make sense. Rob Wilson putting it. I've been on commentary all day, mate. Rob Wilson's just a flying ointment, isn't he, Jeff? Yeah. He turns up for one cell, so then he just goes back into oblivion, never to be seen or heard again. Until he pops up on a Facebook chat. Jamie Simmons, Jeff's made me low. Jeff made me low yesterday. I'm not comfortable when there is a better looking man in the room. Jamie, that's I've not your fault, is it? Jamie, I'm 50, mate. I've gone, mate. <laughs> it's all rumours now. It's all, all in me past that. That's Papa Webb's joke, Seb. 
What what joke's that? I did, I ain't told a joke of her. Uh, your uh, Billy's just talking shit. I ain't got a clue. He's yeah, just trying to get a mention on stream. Don't even, don't even look at doctor him. Doctor said I had a cute angina. I told her she had a cracking pair. <coughs> yeah, so that's a 7 4 to Mark Ball. Jealous Jenks. Can we, can we ban Jenks from commentary? Uh, commenting. Jen, uh, Jacob. Jacob. Jacob Lasek. Did you know he was a tennis player, Jacob? Jakob Lasek, you ever heard of him? Beer on bag said that's what it was. Fair play, Daz. Hey, listen, at least you're honest, mate. What's Billy doing? Nice nah, smiley face is weird. Jeff, he just wants to mention you, Bill. I got a clue what's happening. Oh, God, he, he doesn't. Hey, I'll tell you, I tell you. I think your Shane deserves a mention. He had a little cracking run. Oh, the forehead? You were pulling him down before uh, we got I here. paid him in it. I know, but you said he, he, he plays once every 12 Cheers, months. Cheers, Rob Paul. Jeff, I, I paid him in the event and he would not practice. No, I said, like get some practicing, well. and then he turns up here and he he played played decent to be fair. He did play well, but he should have practiced more, Jeff. How did your Wilbur play? He played well. He played really well against Lewis Calcutt. Uh, it was a bit of a disfest to be honest, Jeff. What about the mis the Gill factor did him, didn't he? I know uh, the Gill factor got his swag going, didn't he? Apparently, he wants a big money game with our Bill. Yeah, I know. Reggie mentioned it on his way out. Uh, He'd like to get one more big match on, he says. Who likes a Billy Webster? <coughs> Wilbur. Yeah. I've just come this across is it, this. Is it, you know what it says to me? It says he, looks more, he don't look like Billy Webster now. He looks like more like Bill Werbenick. He does, actually, Jeff. He drinks more than him as well. <laughs> <laughs> Done he? And he's, uh, that's disappointing for Liam to break dry again. Who's this, Jeff? Uh, let me just read this comment here. I just come across this. I love pool. Best thing on Facebook right now. I'm clicking the follow but Hey, Sean Jordan Sloan, thank you for That's that, pal. Good, mate. Thank you for that. Uh, he's just come across it. He's loving what he's hearing, so cheers, pal. Seb, Seb, Seb. Did you lose to Danny? Ke Kevin Butler. I, I, listen, do you look like a gee, absolute two monkeys? I don't get a monkey's discharge, pal. I'm, I lose to somebody else every day at week. I'm not ignoring no messages, but when people are writing absolute nonsense like that, what do you want me to say? Come on, use your noggin, son. Jeff, what's wrong with these people? You're yeah, Bill again, look at him. When you get, uh, he's gone off my <laughs> right, ain't he, you're Bill? We used to be right close. When you get getting off stage, Jeff, <laughs> you're boring. <laughs> Do you think he's trying to get into you, Jeff? Yeah, we used to be right close, but now I can't get near him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, stop it. If you can't tell people, Jeff is uh, he's pretty much the comedian of the Murphys, Jeff. Is that a fair statement? It is. You're very good with one liners, aren't you, Jeff? I am. And somebody on stream can't beat anybody with a mic. I'm always louder than you, Billy, so keep your trap shut, cock. <laughs> After the first two dishes, he faced his cat the other way because he was rattled. But who is this guy? Danny, what are you on about, Mucker? You're making yourself look a great clown. Honestly. Oh, we're mates again. Turn now. your keyboard the other way. Me and Bill are mates again, look. What a man G for us. He's come to his senses, hasn't he, yeah, Jeff? Yeah, love him, not really. Has the fly retired? Listen, the fly will be back. The fly will be back. I'm, I'm just, I'd be very surprised if he's not tuned in for any of this week. He, he's, he's definitely one of the players who's missed the most, isn't he? Yeah, under, I'd say the most missed player in the world of full, Jeff. I'd love to know when he's coming back so he can plan the party and plan the company in his honour. That's true, Ryan. I think the match, I know we're getting on about different stuff, but it does need a mention. Great match so far. Boyle looks to have the momentum. He's always got the momentum. He's, he's playing great, honestly. He's playing unbelievable. I watched his semi final in other Roma against uh, Gillespie. Fantastic standard. He's playing really well, Jeff, isn't he? Uh, I said it, uh, I watched him play against uh, Liam Dunster yesterday and on one of the outside tables. He beat, he beat Liam, he beat Liam early on. I think it was 11 4. He never put a foot wrong. He just And then I seen him play against Ben Davis this morning and he lost. And he was pretty, he was, he was pretty awful, to be honest. I don't he know, Rob, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I've just been to Cyprus for two weeks. 
and I hadn't touched me. I hadn't had a game for, like I said, two or three weeks. Was it who's next to feel the force? Probably Leanne tonight. <laughs> uh, she'll have a good feel, Rob. She know what does, doesn't she? Jeff? I'm gonna put on that. I need a. I want, I want a game before Christmas, but like I said, <coughs> when we're having a, a lot of time off with my knee, I'm, I want a game at home. Uh, if, pre if people are not prepared to come and play at, at Murphy's, I'm not bothered at the minute. Michael Hewitt, uh, why would we change flags? English Open. It's not a Scottish Open, it's not Irish Open, it's English Open, mate. That's why we've got English flags on. It's not to do with nationality of players. And only a person like you would cut something like that, mate. And uh, we know from your stuff it passed that. We don't really need to listen to what you were saying, so pipe down, pal. We don't need no nonsense, do you know what I mean? It's always somebody got to try and bring some negativity. Could you Muppets watch and commentate? Well, Kelly Reardon, put a comment like that again, son, and you'll be barred off, so why don't you just pipe down? Not being funny, but I'm not taking abuse like that. We're here commentating free charge for hours at a time, and uh, a lot of people are enjoying it, and then you're putting comments on like that, so... Kelly Reid, I don't know if it's a woman or if it's a bloke or a woman's name. Uh, just think about what you're saying and just appreciate what we're actually getting to you. I think it's Ray's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, she doesn't even get that, Jeff. <laughs> Terry Rogers, Declan V, Jeff Bagel match up. That, but hey, that would be a nice match to watch. He's a very good player, isn't he, Jeff? He Declan. Is. Yeah, very good. I was, I, I was impressed with him when he played you. So I'll yeah, he's, he's really him. good. Yeah, he's got a good mentality about him as well. He's got a good team behind him as well. Ronan McCarthy and uh, a few other lads, Robert Clark and uh, Tony Greedy and people like that. They've got a good team behind him, so good support, Jeff, when you travel to England and you've got that many people coming over, isn't it? Mm. I'm sure they'll all come over again. They, they seem to really enjoy it in here. Is hitting that break absolutely unreal. He's crunching it, isn't he? He has yeah. been all week. Like I, I, I mentioned it earlier and he had a dry break. I said it's commentator's curse because I, I've seen him just crunching that break. He crunched him against me. I don't think he had a dry break against me. My first, Obviously, my first three were dry and I were five note down in a blink of an uh, eye. Jealous Jenks has just come back on saying, frustrating, <laughs> frustrating, isn't it, when people insult your commentary best commentary ever these two should be a match it there yeah, thank you and jason then you get people pulling you down you can't you can't do right for doing wrong so yeah not uh, mark i've got no plans at the minute mate to be honest mate i'm not playing well enough yeah i'm, I'm not gonna yeah i'm not i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna big myself up mate i'm not playing well enough by any stretch of the imagination yeah the presentation was straight after the match because it is getting a little bit late Keep tuned in if you want to can see... Uh, can we just scroll back up there? Just in a question that I need to answer. Yeah, there's a lot of comments just come through at the same time. A little bit down, mate. Down. Yeah, he started off with... Yeah, keep going, pal. Jeff, can you remember the time? Oh, there. Oh. Seb, could you put two small flags beside their name to highlight their nationality? People would be, wouldn't be as confused and... Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It, we're not trying to say that they're both English, mate. It's the just answer to that, I'm afraid, is no. Yeah, of course. Jacob, Point. obviously, Jacob or Jacob, Jacob, Cracker man, is uh, don't want to do it. Yeah, so Jacob's is just ticking two fingers up to me first now, and uh, he's threatening to blow stream up. So I think uh, we should give him a mention while he's around. This did this a great job. This, it, this a fantastic setup. This, but I did. I did tell everybody before the event we've got the best stream in the game. Must have spent. People can say hey, Beard Productions. Listen, I know Beard Productions. I've put with Beard Productions in past. Beard Productions are not in the same class as this stream, and that, I'm not being biased here. I'm giving the honest truth. Well, look at me when he asked me to come on it. I said, I don't think I'm ready for out like that. I know, you, you were really nervous, weren't you, Jeff? Yeah, really nervous. Yeah, I've they I've are the, the best in the business, I've I'll be honest on, I've been on a stage in front of hundreds of people with my comedy act, but sitting next to Jakob, I was just absolute. I'm, I'm in fear. I'm shaking as I speak. No, but you have calmed down a little bit. My hand was Jeff. shaking that much. Jakob said, don't waste it, put your hand in my pocket. Yeah, he actually did say that as well. I would tell it. Uh, but listen, what a bit uh
we've got a uh, oh, hang on a minute. Of such Let's say, he keeps saying can I come and sing a song He's, he, he dreams about it Jack of Columbus to answer that like question Lewis. pal Lewis Calcum. always won the £20 each bet that everybody asks the £20 sweep Jack have any idea who won it yeah, I'm sure Jakob can hear me, but he's just ignoring me. Sweep or won it? Uh, it was it was uh, Jamie Simmons. Jamie Simmons. Ah, yeah. there you go. Jamie Simmons won the twenty pound sweepstake. People, Donna came second. I'm nearly sure. It did was James third. Yeah. Did they do a split? Uh, I'm yeah, nearly Jane, sure Donna Jamie came and celebrating. Donna did a split, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. That answers your question, Paul. Kelly Reed is back. Who's the bloke stammering? What does that mean, stammering? You stammered a bit. You got a bit mixed up when you were on about bed productions. Oh, yeah, listen, man. she's not back again. You sounded I'm like... I'm going to slap your ray all over. You sounded like Gareth Gates. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, come on, lighten up, for God's sake. Didn't, you get, didn't Gareth Gates get happy slapped in a club in London? I'm fairly sure he did. Like, yeah, but listen, I was here for a good time. Not a long time. Glenn Wellow, Wellens, G. This Foss is a tough shot this year, Jeff. Jeff. We, we, We're getting good, good raving reports. Listen, here, right. listen, listen, we're always getting a couple of haters, Jeff, but do you know the majority? And how many viewers we've got here? There must be quite a lot, I'm guessing. And I think the main majority are saying that it's absolutely unreal. What do you think, lads? Is, is it unreal or am I being biased? I think it is good. I think it's, it sounds good to me, and I'm in it. Reggie goes, just put, let me just read this post out, Jeff, please. Uh, finally back from a long weekend at Murphy's Sports Bar and the great event I participated in. Great job by Seb Webb, Stephen Webster, and Jack Eck for all the work that went into making it a real success. Happy to have played well and give a decent account of myself after some very indifferent form of late. Massive shout out to Matt Clark for his generosity and good nature. Last but not least, I thank you, Jason Tovey, for the opportunity and faith you showed in me. Also, a huge thanks to my good pal Matt Holland, who let me use his beautiful John Paris Q, which I have fallen in love with. Oi, Reggie, fair play, pal. Craig Lake and comments, what about thanking me for being your manager? Well, listen, Reggie, fair play, pal. Uh, we appreciate the nice comments here at Murphy's. Uh, I, I hope you're listening tonight because uh, me and Jeff are doing your job. You are the professional, we're the amateurs, and we're making you look like a selling player to Paul. I've said it before though, Reggie takes some beating on this. On this. He's very good, isn't he, Jeff? He's very good. I love I, I've said before, he's, but he had his, a, voice got so earlier. his voice is soothing. He soothes me. He's got a very soothing voice. I've said before, do you know these. You know when you're a bit stressed and you listen to tapes with like dolphins on them. Yeah. I I phone I phone Reggie up me and just ask him a question and he talks for hours. He doesn't realise I've been asleep. No, he's uh, to be to be honest, that's one thing that needs to be avoided. A Reggie for a Reggie girl phone call. A Reggie phone call. You need to avoid them unless you're feeling uh <laughs> unless you've got a few hours to spare. Yeah, we shot Mark. He's uh, he's playing well. He's uh, he's time it ball. Well, you said he just helped. He's not just a pot for about. I can't remember the last ball he missed, to be honest. He's not he's not missing nothing, that's no, basically he's, that. He's, he's gonna I th- I am gonna make a prediction. I, I think he's gonna win this final comfortable, isn't he? I don't like doing it, but it, it's looking that yeah, way. Yeah, he, he's just playing too well at minute, Jeff. He's not missing anything, he's he's taking every single finish out. And uh, you know yourself a Mark Boyle in full in full flight is pretty formidable, let's be honest about it, it is. Yeah, like we're it? talking six months ago, people said he was the best player in the world. I know, and because he's he had some trouble with his eyes, a couple of bad results, and all of a sudden they forget how good he is. It knocked his confidence, losing to Tom. Yeah, definitely. But I think he's back to his best. I he agree. had a couple I of bad results in tournaments where he's lost to uh, uh, Scott Gillespie. And st- it's not, they're not bad results, but they, they, they can kill your confidence, Jeff, as you know yourself. And it seems to have like, battled through it now. Do you know what? It won't even enter in this tournament. I begged him and I begged him and I begged him to enter. And I, I eventually persuaded Stephen Santo Ellison to pay his money. Can we just get that uh, comment down there? That Jacob. One. Can we just put that comment down, mate? Just one above that. Somebody's uh, having a little dig again, as usual. Is it a dig, is it? 
No, it's uh, it's none of them. It's uh, you need to go like right to bottom of the chat. It was like one comment up. That's all. Only, only just a second ago, what is gone off? Yeah, Jacob's gone right to the top here. Uh, it's there, there. Gone past it now. Got to be honest, beer productions concentrate on the game, game not, not the comments. <coughs> well, that's a lie. Barry Watt, Wyatt, whatever your name is, that's a lie, pal. Because I've uh, I've actually listened to played on streams, and uh, yeah, that's a lie. Because I've seen uh, every single person that's ever commented on there commenting on ch comment box. So yeah, all I'd say is, pal, uh, try and be, be a bit more thoughtful when you're actually writing comments in the comment box. If it's if it's not actually the truth, because uh, that is a hundred percent a lie. They always actually try and interact with the people at home, which is the correct thing to do. If you just carry on talking about a poll match, then nobody actually cares about commenting. So it's pretty pointless. You've got to try and get both mixes right. And while me and Jeff have uh, tried to talk to a lot of people in box, we've also commented on the game as much as, as, much as possible, to be honest. There's when only so much you can do, in there, to please people. But as we speak, Jeff, we're, we're, we're terrible people, mate. We, I can't believe that we're here providing a free service to people at home. We're s wasting his own time. The, s the stream is second. <laughs> the <laughs> commentator on a pool match between two of the best players the world has ever seen, and we're wasting our time for these people to moan about it because we're talking about a few people answering questions or comments or whatever. Honestly, honestly, you people, you do, you make me laugh. You've got to please most fans, and they want to, they want you to answer them. When you always get a couple of people that moan, but for God's sake, it's moaning that we're talking to people in chat box. It's like laughable, isn't it? I, honestly, what was his name? Have a word with yourself. What if your name is pal? Barry Wyatt. Barry Wyatt. Yeah, I'll not forget that name because I'm really disappointed in that comment. Embarrassing. But do you agree, Barry, that the streaming is perfect? The 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 class the quality of the stream. We must be charging for this stream, Jeff, are we? For him to moan that we're talking about comments, are we charging for a stream? Yeah, Paul Shepherd, we can all see the game. The banter just adds Thank to you. it. Thank you, Kelly Reedon's finally put a decent comment. Interactive commentary is great. Kelly, that, there Ray must have had a word with you. There Ray, there Ray's on fire. Seb Webb, Anthony Bradburn, what pal? I can see some bubble question marks. I'm trying to interact with as many people as possible, but... Oh, that's a low one from Liam. Yeah, he's played a bad shot. That wire's just pulled up here. I can still get this plant now. What, I don't know what he actually tried to do then. I think, did he try and this, this Yeah, he tried to get that, out, Jeff. I didn't catch the shot. Stream is class and so his commentary keeps up. Thank you. Uh, I am very grateful, guys. Thank you. There's a lot of nice comments going. Cheers for it, people. I just can't believe that people can actually moan about super, free stuff. Super bunch on stream, our Craig. Our Craig on a... Do you know what I mean, Jeff? How many nice comments is there? And then you get one person oh, that just wants to... It's just madness. I don't know why they try and ruin it for people. Me, I really don't. Because... Uh, I feel humble <coughs> that there's a lot of loving us, isn't there, as well? Yeah, obviously. Listen, any comments that are nice, you, you take it on board, don't you, Jeff? Oh. You appreciate all the nice comments. We do appreciate them. You take them, but then, then that obviously aren't nice comments. You forget about them as soon as you get that one bad one. You take it straight to heart, don't you? It hurts. It does. It, when they're stupid as well, it's like when they're ridiculous. Then you take them to heart even more. Cuts deep. But listen, we'll get off it. We'll have, we'll have a cuddle in a bit, Jeff. We will. But listen, I'm just going to say something now. This game's going to go ten four in about five minutes. I want to lads. Yeah, Liam's. Uh, he's in no man's land, Jeff. No man's land. He's got a couple of dodgy <coughs> balls and that. And he's got about three dodgy balls and he's got three on the table. And I know you can't predict the future. I'm not a medium. I'm a I'm a large, but if I were tipping the future <laughs> now, there's definitely, definitely, <laughs> Mark Barr's going to win this frame. He's on fire the fall. I bet there's more pe most people sat up and didn't even get that. What, that about me, do you? Yeah, they, they get it. They just Are you sure, Jeff? They just expect him now, don't they? <laughs> just expect my little one line. All is awesome. Ignore the bollocks of keyboard warriors. I don't even think he's a warrior, to be honest, Adam. It's uh, just a stupid comment, mate. Where yeah. is this being played, Kyle Ballard King? 
Bloody hell, mate. It's at <laughs> Murphy's, don't you? Murphy's Sports Bar, Doncaster, mate. It's at Murphy's, mate. It to be honest, though, somebody just put that the, the, the surprise that Liam hadn't played his best pull, but if you remember, Jeff, I did for set from start at match. Is it back on, Bill? Did you? Give a thumbs up, got. Yeah, you're perfect, Jeff. It's winding you up again, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you at start at match that it were, it, it were really poor against Gaz, you know? Yeah. And uh, unfortunately for him, I know it, he's had a long weekend. Look, he's played some long matches. It's just a shame that it's. Uh, He's running to Mark Paul in absolute ruthless fashion. Who's taking no prisoners tonight? How much Big for the time. winner, Daniel? It's uh, 5k and 2k, 2 and a foot. Runner taking Paul to next level this free stream. Fair play to all commentators also giving their time and their comment has gone because, uh, yeah, the comments just went from Seb saying how you are, man, Superman. Yeah, true. It's nice to see that the people at Stoke are listening to the stream, Jeff, isn't it? What have they been on, actually? I'm not... I'm not yeah, right. I've seen a few people... Ooh. I've seen a few people coming in, Jeff, and uh, having a look. It's nice, that. It's, listen, it's, uh, people always take it personal, don't they, Jeff? Faddy, I don't make much at pool, that's why I'm skinned. Do you I, make I make note on stage and note at pool, don't worry about me, mate. Jeff, do you reckon uh, Sky Sports and uh, BBC, they have big arguments all the time, or do you reckon they enjoy competition? Do you think they want us? There's some, it's rumoured that they're wanting us. Yeah, well, I know, I've had a couple of rumours, I've had a couple of inboxes, but I think uh, I think it's all good competition, me. I don't think people in Stoke are too concerned about us, do you? But they should be, because uh, all the players have said this is the best venue they've ever played in, under best conditions on best tables. So, <coughs> either improve or maybe Seb Webb takes over. Jenks, it keeps piping up, don't you like? Jealous Jeff, <laughs> <laughs> and stuttering his step of the way forward. Jenks, if you're a what arse up this week, mate, you might be stuttering as well. I keep predicting things, man. I keep getting them wrong because I've got a feeling that Liam's going to go into these now and get plum on that yellow. I can't see it happening because them reds are that close. Can you see it happening, Jeff? Yeah, if you I were to see if you were to get shot at yellows, I'll have a middle pocket. <coughs> can't see it happening, to be honest, mate, because they're that close. I just see it sticking. I think he's got to dig in slightly. Isn't but it? Or he's not play to kind of yellow to knock it over the middle. Or I don't think he can go to red. I think you need to go to yellow. And it's in the cute angle as well, it's not like it's over a pocket. I think he'll get a plumb, because I've, cause I've said he won't. What about, a great shot. what about that for a shot then? Sebastian? It's not a great shot, mate, there. Excellent it's shot. It's still not easy though, is it? He's going to pop this, he's going to carry two reds. Can I get white out to get on black? Would you play through a running side, Jeff? To Obviously, you're going to hit the first red, then the second he's red. He's going to hit the second red, so... Which is kind of running side to... When you hit Kush to reverse it. He's running, yeah. It's such a tricky shot, this, though. I think he's got to play with running side. I think he's going to be unlucky not to have a shot on black, because it, it... But if if you're looking at the screen now, people, when I say running side, I'm thinking the right, right-hand right side on kill wall, because... He's going to glance off that first red. When he eats the first red, then he eats the second red, then the side reverses. Then it's on the cush. Then it's going to spin off the cush. Tommy's just having some more off red action for this shot. It just shows you how hard it actually is. And it, Would you be surprised if he played dual there, Jeff? He could play dual, actually, yeah. Well spotted, mate. But w would you rather play double or would you I'd just play it double, yeah. He can, get out, he can screw out it yeah. way quick, can't he? I don't know, I I, I'll be honest, yeah, I prefer clip. No, I prefer double. <coughs> I think it's too close to play double. That's because you like to see the white ball fly no, on the table, Seb. No, he is too close to play exactly double there. Like you he can't play double there. He it's too close. It didn't. He can dig in and play double. I think he's got to play this with a reverse side. He can't drag it, he's got to reverse it. Oh, he's played that so nice, hasn't he? That deserves a clap, That's that a one. a great shot. Great shot. He's actually uh, played it to absolute perfect. He, he stood in it as well, didn't he? 
That's why he didn't play the play. He flicked it out and he said that he could play that shot. I'm block on a block <coughs> yard, Billy. He's been a bit of a nuisance. Yes. Is it? Is, is Great show. shot. I think he's showing off. Total piss talk. Hey, the ball and the gun ball off him, pal. Double, double it. You think all. I think even uh, some Mark supporters no, there give give uh, Liam yeah, they've a, all just a little bit of applause. Bro. That were nice. It was <coughs> nice to see him not giving up. Look at look at how they all appreciate that shot. Somebody said double it. I mean, come on, honestly. I'll be honest. I had a double that. I didn't say you can't tell. No, I don't like double it. Like I like double it, like a foul. Like a what? A foul. Oh, double it. Yeah, like a double it the white. Definitely not, in my opinion. No. Definitely not. No double. It weren't double it. So, honestly. Some finish. It was some finish. Santa. That's the first thing you've said. Oh, that's decent all night, mate. Can you remember me pestering you for that entry fee for Mark Boyle? How, I, I hope you're going to thank me, pal. I want to message in my inbox saying thank you, Seb Webb. You are a legend. Jeff Papa says he got that 20 year old mucker. It's him who owns me, Bill. <laughs> Viagra, mate. <laughs> Aye, uh, my dad definitely got bikes he's selling every weekend. <laughs> Cut a break again. Oh my god. Crunch, but not You can't see it better than that, Jeff. Is there going to be a little turning point in this match? Well, listen, we want because, a little bit. Because it looked like 10 4 a minute ago. It's 9 5 now because that lane played that fantastic shot. And he's uh, got, I think, yellows are all day long here. And now Mark's gone in dry. Mark, that's what I'm saying. He's gone in dry. Where was that pizza? They did you get it, did you? <laughs> I think Mark Luke needs to get uh, needs to get Mark or, uh, a Mars bar again. Get some energy levels up. Yeah, yeah, we just seen a com comment from Ryan Fleming. Great finish, but I wonder if anyone suggested double well, double were on to be honest, Ryan. Uh yeah. So it it was actually on but Liam played right shot in my opinion. He did well he obviously played right shot, he got flew on yeah, black. But double was still on Jeff, wasn't it? Double were on, yeah. It, it, it looked pretty much straight, to be honest, but... I'd like to see it, Sam. It I'd like to see a better of them to come back, mate. It right must now. look different on Steam at home, obviously, but he did have two options, in my opinion. It would double on the shot that he played. And it, he played the shot that I would have played, but... Dunster in the final, because he sent everyone to sleep. Craig Smith, you send me to sleep, you absolute pest. I'm not sure, Scott. <coughs> Sebastian's your man to ask for that. When's Blackpool, Bobby? Blackpool? When's... Uh, What's that for? When we go to Narbrook. I'm not going to Narbrook again. I'd rather Blackpool shit in my hands and clap. When is B it, though? Blackpool's the 8th till the 11th of yeah, November. Yeah, said brother not be going there, mate. 8th to 11th of November. Yeah. yeah, we're not in that, G. There's one at weekend. We're, not, we're away next weekend, Scott. We're at Super 7's, mate. We're at, at Super Real. 7's next week at Real, if you want to come. I'd advise yeah. anybody in the pool world not to go to Blackpool ever again, because uh, the organisers, they're on a bigger fi fiddle than Lee Kendall. We'll get you the caravan. Do you know what I mean? If you want to come up, Scott, you want Ali? Ken, I'm not saying Kendall's fiddling, but listen, the organisers at Blackpool, they're fiddling big. They're taking 50% out of uh, the entry fees on the on a open uh, competition. Yeah, there's no and value. that's why I've been banned, because I told them what I thought. There's no value in there's no value listen, in. Uh, I'm no, not, no disrespect, right, to people trying to earn a living, but for people that are paying £20 to enter a competition, then the prize money gets deducted 50%. For me, that is daylight robbery. And that's when I told them. That's when I got robbed. Eh, so banned, sorry. Just getting off the subject, seven minutes. Look, look now. I want you to comment on Liam's face. Can you see a different determination? Yeah, in big it? time. I was just going to yeah. say the same to you. He's got some Jeff. belief. He has. He's got some belief, Jakob. The only thing I would say there, Jeff, is I think he's uh, took the wrong ball for you. Can I just announce I've just booked another stream? Um, Jamie Simmons v TR and 1. Uh, sometime the real the number one. Yeah, sometime in the next few weeks in Dublin. That's nice go. for you, mate. Should be good. You deserve it, mate, with this oh, equipment you've got here. Thank you very much. I'm just going to call this now. Would you not have took uh, that ball for Black now? Yeah, no. What, that last ball? Yeah, yeah. the, the ball that I just played. Left white where it is now, for middle pocket. Yeah, would yeah. Oh. Maybe they will maybe yeah, wash up, but I think, he's, I think he's going to double black me. Well, I think he might have to do now, because I can't see how he can get close to it of the balls that he's playing now. Unless he's, he's, he's played that and play clip. I don't care what you say. There's a different. There's a different. 
He could play it quicker as well. There's a different look to him. He's got some belief. I think he thinks that he's got a chance in this match now. I don't think he did at 9-4 because he thought it looked like looking 10-4 and then he got oh that, yeah. that well chance. He does look like he's on the prowl. He's, he does. Uh, he's, he's spotting his prey. He's spotting his it prey. He seems to be playing quicker as well. I know people yeah. might laugh in commentary box when I said that, but I actually do think he's playing quicker. But I think, it, why is he not playing yellow at the corner here? He knows what he's doing, mate. Don't worry about Liam. Yeah, no, but... Going across that middle pocket. But is he going to play double now, Jeff? He's, he's gone a bit short there. He well, took it tip top, but I think he plays that middle there, actually. He can't go top. That's one thing he can't do. He can roll into the top and leap double. No, he can't do it. Can't believe you're taking the mickey. That's your way, mate. Can't believe you're taking the mickey. He needs to be no back. Jeff. He could roll that through into the top and take double up there. No, I don't know. I, I think it's wrong shot if he does that. He's, he's looking at it a gap. It needs to go middle bag. No, I don't think he does. He needs to go middle bag and track the face of that red. He's he can't go in off. He just don't want to leave St. Bridget. Yes, Jenksy. Another holiday, buddy. I don't think you should be screwing into balls when there's no need. Follow no, he's, no, he's not screwing in. Top pocket, follow I've through, loop, screw cross double up black. Screw across the face of the red. Like that. Perfect. That's a lovely shot. But I think he still should have took the other yellow last to get a black in middle. Even though I fancy him to get this. It looks like he's got a different swagger about him at the minute, to be honest. I said that two minutes ago, didn't it? It looked dead and buried like, no what, ten no minutes ago? You can always see he's like he's got the eye of the tiger, hasn't he? Getting into this, though, Jeff. Yeah. Nice shot. He's nailed it, hasn't he? He, he just believes. looks like a... He believes. He believes. Uh, not being funny, it looked dead and buried. His, his, his attitude just totally went, didn't it, Jeff? He needs to... And I think like uh, people are saying, oh, he's too tight. Like a couple of comments in text about, oh, he's been playing all day. He's a little bit tired. But see now then, he's, he's high on life. He's full of energy. Do you know what I mean, Jeff? He's back. You won't like to call it now. Obviously, you'd still say Boyle's favourite. But if he gets a chance, you won't say he's going to miss a ball now. And it's funny how these matches can turn around in the blink of an eye. Just and like he's just goes, yeah, eight two up. You. Bad. You would never say that Mark Farnsworth could lose from 8 2 up in a race to 11 no. against any player in the world. No. And it, it totally gone. I want to give thumbs up because I, I, I appreciate what he's done. Yeah, he, Jeff is in his own, mate. He's not looking at nobody, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's still trying to catch his eye, but it's not going to happen. I think he could be in front of him and do that. Because he's fixated notice. on break. I think he deserves a little thumbs up because he's, he's going to make a I game of this. I've actually never seen anything like it, this boy. Really haven't. The way he focuses on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, just insane. I think the closest person is Yannick Buffels. Yeah. It's like you say, Yannick. Uh, Yaku, if I had a walk through there, start naked. I don't Jeff, look at that comment there. Great event, lads. Best tables I've ever played on. If you go back up there. Where's it said that? Uh, somebody's just commented saying it. I'm lucky as a dry break again. Oh dear. I'm dry looking at them yellows. Look at them red so to your pick. He's got an off. I think it would Dave McNamara. I don't think the one hit just next to the yellow goes if you're looking at reds. Yeah, that 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 could be the problem, but he's gonna take yellows anyway. He'll take yellows because there's yeah, a yeah. chance to take that. He can't miss yellows. He's on his awkward yellow first, and then he can, his next yellow he can develop yeah. the other yellow with it. That's why Liam's uh, fuming at the minute. He must he must be getting pretty fed up now going to these massive finals, Jeff and uh, just coming up short, isn't he? Oh. It must be horrible for people that need to interview him after Jacob. Or Jakob, as you want to call the interviewing technique. <laughs> Jakob smiling, thinking he's not doing interview, Jeff. I am <laughs> not doing you the are. interview. You are. I'm not. Yeah. Listen, why do you right think people. I employ Rob Holt? We're having a... Yeah, but Rob Holt's not here. That's why you get paid to do a job, so you need to do a job, Jakob. Listen, pal. Listen, I'm, I'm a streamer, people in the not commentary, I've paid somebody to do a stream, and he normally <laughs> provides an interview, and now Jakob's trying to get out of the interview with Liam Dunster afterwards, because Liam's on a three-match losing streak in finals. No way, Jeffrey. I think you should go onto the uh onto I can't the table do it, so I'll just start... Take your cap off to him. I'll just start going mad on interview. T take your hat off to him. Well, I'll start telling people out of it. Uh, said we'll never take his hat off. Not unless uh, can take your I get paid lots of money. You can <coughs> leave your head on. I've, I, uh, Jeff, I'm having me trouble next week. I've been asking for a fake doctor's note all weekend and uh, I didn't know how to get one. 
Why? What's up? Far to wearing that. It's like right. County Pool. For real? Yeah, because I got told that uh, the late Aggie Bailey, the legend, that is Alistair Bailey, he uh, he got a doctor's note from doctors, and that's the only way you can wear a hat in county, <laughs> is if you get a doctor's note. So I need a fake one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting one? I've been asking for people, I don't know how to get a fake one. If I can write it out and sign it, I'll do it. You'll get a fake doctor's note. Well, if I don't, then uh, we've got six players because I will knock the shit out of Paul Thompson. You can get Language. old these days. Sorry, Stephen Fowler, both overrated. They would not get a game with the cue ball days. What's he on about? I've no idea. That He must be on that golf. It's Ricky Fowler's brother. Oh, Robbie's. Yeah. Yeah, it might be Robbie. Yeah, he's probably sniffing lines as we speak. Robbie Fowler's uncle. Third frame, I don't think he touched the table. I don't know what... Well, Danny, D, Danny Butler, absolutely jog on, mate. This is your last warning now. You will be banned from the stream. Listen, you're talking absolute nonsense. Just shut up now. Look at this. We've got another good one here. Hats off to the commentators. Being good to listen to fellas. Oh, look at Yaku. While Yaku sat here. Underwear. Are you happy with commentating, Yaku? Yeah, perfectly fine. Listen, no, I think Yaku's absolutely on. There's only been about four shots called, but never mind. It's Can you remember Yaku's uh, commentary in... Uh, in Ireland, the, the the amount of stick that he got, and oh then he's mate. come to Murphy's and they totally redeemed himself, as they would say on Dumb and Dumber. Do you know what I mean, Jeffrey? I do, mate. People forget that I only started doing this in uh, in like February. Jeffrey, yeah. I think a lot. Of, I mean, sorry, Yaka, but a lot of people forget that I actually put you on the map. Uh, my game with Sean Stebbins put Yaka on the map, big style. Uh, obviously, Lee Washbrook arranged it, but I think I think that was the match that. Kickstarted your career in the streaming industry. Am I right there, Yaka Bob It was. Hey, I'll thank my, you. I'll tell you what, I'll take that off to you. And then I've got you involved in the <laughs> and then I've got you involved in the biggest competition in the UK that's ever come to Yorkshire in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people have said the same to me. They've never seen a competition like this in Yorkshire, Jeff. Would you agree with that? I agree. So I mean I've done a lot for this streaming company and in my opinion they the, they are the best streaming company in the business. Yeah, I didn't just say for laugh. It's nice that it's been here though. That it's it's put Murphy's on map. This, it's put Murphy's I think Tommy's really Tom's enjoyed it as well, Jeff. Tom, Tom's even sat at side as now proud as a really peacock. not comments, Jeff. He's proud as a peacock. Can I can see. Look at him, how proud he is. I think Mark's just said to Liam a bit of tension in my arm. He's obviously screwed it by quite a way, Jeff. He has, hasn't he? I don't know if he can get on blocky, you know. Would you have to leave the double with it? Or would you drag it off red, Jeff? You could just stun it at red and leave it in middle pocket. No, it don't go, Jeff. It's a cute angle, that. It's not that cute. Can he hear us? Are we talking too loud? Oh, no, no, no. He's just laughing to himself and Dunster. I think he's uh, stra he's going to drag off at red or to the side rail. Yeah, it looks to like it. As if... I thought he fouled there. <laughs> but there's going to be... I think he's going to take black into the same pocket. Yeah. But he needs to just glance off red, don't he? See, people are saying we're not calling shots, but listen, I've, I've called some of the best shots in the history of pool. Oh, what about, Seb? Playing it normal ball, glancing off the red and going back up table. No, I think it, I think it's too worth it, can't it, Jeff? Do you? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think no, it's I think it's the red pretty much full ball here. That's why he's playing with loads of side on it. Yeah, it's always gone too far down table here. Oh, he's still oh, alright. a little bit hurt. Not look, but if it didn't get red, it were a much tougher black one. It, mm. but he knows it's a big shot. He's just getting his hands a wipe on towel, uh, making sure that there's no stickiness or sweat on his palms, so he can kill this ball. And uh, I'll be honest, I think he's had a bit of good run there, because if he missed that red, I think this black one far tougher than what it is now. It, a snooker player's never going to miss this in a month of Sundays. No, no, Pop not with a cue action like Mark Boyle. Look at that, straight in the middle. He's never going to miss them, Jeff. He's uh, far too good a potter to miss them. Nicely done. 10-6 to Mr. Magic. And uh, that pretty much the last man in the draw. Does Does Tommy want to... He's on the hill. ...have a little mention on stream? Does he want to just... Do you want a quick chat, Tom? Does he want to say something? Right? Do you want to say out about uh, the event or... No, Tom? I've been pool for 10 years. There have been some famous faces in the pool world. In Yorkshire, this last few days, and uh, 
been great to watch. It's been nice to have a mentor, time, hasn't it? It is, yeah, it is. And uh, the Scottish have come down here to do a job, and three of them's got to last four. You know what I mean? And uh, some top class pool, and it's been great to watch and fantastic. Are you proud? It's gone smooth as smooth. Are you, smooth. Have you proud to have it in your venue, Tom? Hey, have you been proud to have it in your venue? Listen, I've been around in Paul Fox years and I've never seen all like this in Yorkshire. You are, you're, not, you're not old enough to have been around it 40 years, Tom. Stop stop exaggerating. You're only, yeah, yeah. You're only 45 now. Hey, listen, that, that's, the, that's the main man, the main man of uh, Murphy's Doncaster. Uh, listen, lads, I'll just tell you now, he's over at Moon. He's, uh, I'd have sooner have had uh, G-Force and semi final and Mark Boyle and Liam Dunster commentating, but uh, <laughs> that's, not, that's Paul. But, uh, yeah, listen... Oh, sorry to all your Scottish fans out there, but Tom is a bit of a loyalist. He wanted uh, he wanted me and Jeffrey at final or maybe Chuck. Look at that break again, Jeff. He's just absolutely crunch, crunch. His white crunch. balls, he's come up dry again, though. And listen, we've been saying how well Liam's hit it ball in the last few frames. You'd expect him to mop him up here no matter what he takes. Because he know he's, he's got to play enormous pool, basically. And he needs to pray that Mark breaks dry. That's it. But I'd just like to say, uh, listen, Tom is, uh, for people that don't actually know Tommy, he, d- he don't really shout about on Facebook or stuff like that. No, he's a quiet lad, Tom. He, j- he just keeps himself to himself and uh, he lets uh, young Jack and young Tom, they're pretty much run club these days. He's, uh, he's got Diane and that behind back. Bar staff have been absolutely unbelievable, I'm not going to lie. Tommy just comes in at end at night and empties till. <laughs> Yeah, that that's about right. Rubs his hands. He's he's got an habit of rubbing his hands. When he when he when he sees club full, he just rubs his hands and he's like cute when he does it. Cause have, you, have you noticed there, Jack doing that lately? Yeah, Jack does it, doesn't he? <laughs> Jack started doing it. <laughs> he chip off old block, you know. Listen, they've, they've put a lot of time. Listen, I, I couldn't have done this without young Jack Eck. I'm not being funny now. Uh, I know a lot of people on Facebook saying, "Well done, Seb." But I'll be hundred percent guarantee you now. I could not have done this event without young Jack Eck. He's been absolutely unbelievable, Jeff. Do you know behind the scenes? Yeah, I know he has. I know he's not getting credit on the stream uh, because they all think it's down to me. But I sw- it's been a fifty-fifty effort. Uh, he's been superb, honestly. When I've needed lifts from that back to house, he's, he's always drove me back and picked me up. And all Cal Cutter, he, he's organised all money and all situation like that. I couldn't have done this without him, mate. Uh, it's been very much a two-way street. It's been down to me and him. Tommy's obviously helped his expertise, aren't we? Uh, it's not been a one-man event by no stretch of the imagination. Even uh, Jordan Shepherd, he's helped out a long way as well, offering just little, little bits of advice here and there because it's his first tournament here at Murphy's, like a big event like this. We didn't have a clue what we were doing, do you know what I mean, Jeff? Yeah, you've done. You've, Obviously, you've all done fantastic. There's nothing unbelievable. I can't, I can't praise it enough. I know I come in this club quite a bit, but yeah. I think it, it, it deserves credit for a fantastic. We've had tournaments in past, haven't we, Jeff? Do you know, like Foster's Compton series, and but this magnitude for me, it's a totally different level. Like I said, and all, Andy Appleton's been around. He's been around for a long time. He's, he's one of the top players for years and years, and. Great shot, that's and a great shot, that. Even Andy says, he's at, what an absolute fantastic event. And how, how it's been run, table's perfect, conditions perfect. As soon as it gets a little bit warm, there's aircon gone on. Oh, unbelievable. Tom's made us put 10 pence in metre, but <laughs> aircon's gone on. <laughs> Not one complaint about table, Tom. No, it's uh, listen. We couldn't, uh, to be honest, we could not have asked for it to go any better than what it has. I know we said on uh, Thursday and Friday that there were a lot of people out there praying for it to go wrong, which the war we know the war because we got we've seen some comments online and uh, Liam, I went to still and like that one, cocker. It's a great That's shot. Right, though, he, I he's not missing out now. That's no, a great he's shot. He's just played a nice skill shot there in the middle bag, Jeff. Nice. He's going to but yeah, run listen, the start course, then play this one along. It, it does course. feel we'll like we're doing an end game. of the match speech, but this match ain't over yet. It's still bang the air battling away. <coughs> no, nope. he's not going to give it him, is he? <laughs> Jakub keeps saying to me, "Do you want to replay?" I keep saying, "No." <laughs> you, want me, you want me to give me? <laughs> a, so boring. A, you want me to give me a opinion on this mm-hmm. game? Yeah, I think 
that Liam's got the grip between his teeth, the bit between his teeth. He's now, not missing now, is he? No, but I think Paul's playing too well. I think if he hadn't have had a little spell early on in the game where he looked as though it, there was something wrong with him. 100%. When, s- when somebody print chat that he was uh, exhausted, he played too much poor, he was tired. Yeah. <laughs> and now look at him. He's like that. He, don't if this match went for another two hours, he'd still be doing this. Exactly. Because he's, not, he's actually now found it. He lost it, but now he's found it. But what uh, did he lose? What what were we? He just lost that edge. Do you know that edge that you have to yourself sometimes, and you think, oh, I'm buzzing. He did Jakob, didn't he? He Sorry? lost. He lost his edge. He lost it against Gazibert. He lost it against Gazibert. He lost. He lost his edge, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. There was something not right with him. Yeah, Timothy Hurst. But we're, we're planning on doing something, mate. Uh, obviously, I need to speak to Young Jack. And uh, uh, to be honest, I won't do it without Young Jack helps because. Uh, to be honest, he's he's one of the main men in the Murphy's spot. He's only eighteen years old, and he's uh, he knows all his stuff with computer stuff and all that. And uh, I won't do it like, without his help because nobody else could do it. To be honest, Tommy couldn't do it, or Tommy's lad couldn't do it. Uh, young Tom, they've got other stuff going off. So I don't want to do it with Young Jack, but we are planning on doing something next year, aren't we, Jeff? Yes, we're, we're going to try get something on go. Hopefully. I think uh, I, d- I honestly do believe we could challenge Lee Kendall's place because well, all, all the players have said this venue's far better and the tables are far better and the prize money. Corey Reese put a comment on tonight, Jeff. He says, well, I spoke to Ben Davis after his. Oh his no, he, he might not want it to be mentioned, obviously, because they lost 11 0 and he'd be absolutely gutted and devastated. But even him, after 11 0 defeat, said one of the best events he's been to. Yeah. Tables perfect. He says he'd love, he'd love to come to an event here yeah. again. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to make sure, I will make sure it happens for certain. Let's play for a gap here. That's a clever shot, that, Jeff, isn't it? It's a great shot. I thought he was going to come to the middle pocket then. But he's just... I saw him, it, he was looking at Gap. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, sorry. I never see it, but... Yeah, I spoke to... Uh, who did I spoke to now? Oh, somebody, somebody was asking I've me to... I've spoke to Lowe's, Craig, if I, can do it, if I can do a run a series on that, uh, because Ted was a far superior. Even just before it matched... But uh, Mark Ball was saying it. Yeah, oh, it telling us, wasn't he? Yeah. He said he'd definitely come down here four or five times in a year. They've all said that, uh, the tables, the, the, the far superior. But it's a big shot. Yeah, he's got... He's got some tables. People might think we're not commenting on pull, but we're, we're commenting on most. Like, we've already told you he's not missing our ball at minute. And Boyle is not missing either. Wayne Pinder, it's been a great watch. It's G Force here, Wayne. Nice Qu- to see you. Glad you've enjoyed it, Wayne. Yeah, like I was saying, anyway, hopefully we can get a series on. The, I don't know if, well, whether it be a series, Jeff, or a couple of tournaments. What, what do you reckon best way to go is? I know uh, a lot of people are asking for a series, but I don't know if you could, uh, if there's enough dates in calendar, to be honest. Maybe a couple of just one off events, maybe. Maybe just like two events, one at start of year, one at end of year. Yeah. Obviously, we can we can do it in summer, which most venues can't because we've got air conditioning, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> in a week's time or so, um, Vib Roscoe is uh, putting up a calendar on um, Google Drive, yeah. which is going to show all the dates for all pool tournaments. Yeah, that's we're, that's we're gonna to, we're gonna, we'll take help. a look at that and we'll see what we can yeah. do, but... Listen, we all players' comments. I, I could one. not do, do another one because they all love it here, don't they? Another one thinking about it. Gaz Ibbett before he went. Yeah. Exactly the same. Best tables he's played on, said. And, and cloth, he's loved the cloths. He's, he's felt like coming home, these but these green cloths. Do you know one thing I'm angels. scared of? It's like, are people going to start following suit now? Just trying to copy us with Ainsworth match, Jeff. Well... I'm trying to like do you think d- you, do you think that you've set the trend? Do you For think me, Ainsworth match is the only cloth that's getting used in this club because a lot of people refuse to do it. No, it's like Tommy's just said, it, it's too. A lot of clubs to complain because it's too expensive to use Ainsworth match. No. I'll tell you what, if you go straight to Hainsworth, you get a cracking deal. I, I know for a fact yeah, that you can get yeah. Hainsworth match at That's a very one good thing price. that we were talking about last night, wasn't it, Tommy? Maybe that w- we maybe missed a trick by not uh, contacting Ainsworth for a sponsorship deal because we, didn't, we had to have one sponsorship for this tournament. Seven. Seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, that that's definitely one uh, that's one trick that we missed that because uh, <coughs> we, we we definitely should have contacted it. Like he's caught that break sweet. We definitely should have contacted Ainsworth, and maybe that's a mistake on my part, or maybe a lack of experience, whatever. But could have maybe I got a, a better deal with cloths, maybe. It's not bad, Jeff. It's, we didn't get one spot. Like this tournament could have been named after, like uh, obviously it's called English Open, but it could have been called the English Ainsworth. Ainsworth is or oh, not Strachan, because I would never go to Strachan. The ma the main sponsor it's a rubbish of cloth. It is a rubbish cloth. Strachan's garbage. Right, I would never use that even if they offered four thousand pounds or something because it's not fire on fires. It's a shite cloth. Bottom line. Sorry for swearing, but it is. Uh, but there were so many sponsorship companies that we should have contacted and we didn't. But I did contact a few and there was no, nobody interested, do you know what I mean, Jeff? Yeah. I contacted a few Q makers and uh, basically just I don't know why it was. Obviously Lee Kendall's got a lot of sponsorships for his club, maybe that like Shark Rack, they were all tied up with Lee Kendall. They've uh, invested too much in his series. So maybe that's why if, if you were Jason Owen, same. He invested a lot of money into Lee Kendall's with his cues. I don't know, maybe that was it, but it, it was just really hard to try and get a sponsorship deal. So obviously we've had to run this comp on no sponsorship deals. Uh, obviously the, the, the money's for the streaming and stuff like that. It's uh, me and Young Jack has uh, paid for most of it, to be honest. I also think so, but no, I know it's it's nothing. Well, it's to do with comp, but I think uh, the great I think shot. I think the Calcutta will be bigger next time. Yeah, obviously the Calcutta helps. Uh, to be honest, mate, uh, me and Jack will, will obviously we've done all work with like entries and stuff like that. Uh, Jack's collected all entry money. Tommy's sorted all cloths, make sure venues like spot on, you know. He's designed layout at arena and stuff like that. Obviously, he's got experience in that field. Uh, but me and Jack were saying that we were like, we were going to like ends with uh, Calcutta, sorry. If it went to like stupid amounts, we were like pretty to take prize fund on that. Do you know uh, for players, Jeff? Like you said, Seb, a few uh, <coughs> a few big backers didn't get involved in this Calcutta, and it's it's amazing. Yeah, why we were disappointed to be honest because we we actually postponed it for certain people. When. When and you, then when did it get involved? Well, such as Mark Boyle, who, who finalist, probably, well, obviously favourite now to win it, 10-7 up, but he went for a £1,000 in Calcutta. I know. It's a steal. Uh, it's not that done to him for 1400 They should have gone for a lot more, Jeff. It's a steal. But, like you said, if, like, me and Jack were expecting uh, this to go for, like, not expecting more money, but we we're, were expecting people to get involved... Like Galloway, uh, Casey Singh, Kevin Miles. I still think though. I don't know. I don't <coughs> know whether I can remember. Uh, they never. They I never got involved. I think a part. Of, I think a part of it should be added to prize money. Well, me and Jack we would have put a lot in Jeff. Really? Yeah. I said to Jack. I said that bank to add all the money to the prize fund. And uh, obviously, the players are going to absolutely fall in love with the event, then, aren't they? And then the next... Oh, he oh. missed it. Wow. Oh. He's not left the... Oh, he has. And that next event, obviously, it gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? And then that's when you start to reap your rewards. Hey, do you know where I'm coming from, Jeff? Yeah. Obviously, if you met 2,000 from this cow cutter, if you took it in price for the next cow cutter, maybe you met 10 grand. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? It, it just wasn't big enough, really, and we had that many outlays that we had to... Obviously, you've got trophies, referees, streaming. So, it had to cover all that, and it wasn't even pointless. Maybe maybe, maybe 5% of the pot. Yeah, definitely. Should be, should be put, to, put into the players. So, if if the, if the if it takes whatever. Good job. I, I think that's the match winner, huh? I'll be honest, I didn't expect Liam missing that. I think the players do deserve some of the <coughs> gal butter. Yeah, I, I, I think that's up for discussion, to be honest. Uh, I'll be honest now. Nah. I don't think they deserve a percentage out of the winner's prize money. I think that some should go into prize pool. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but a lot of people are saying, uh, I know it's a couple of comments after that last event, uh, saying that they should get some uh, percentage. I don't agree with that. Not going to lie. Uh, 
for me if people are spending thousands of pounds on a cow cutter <coughs> and they lose it first round do they get back bidders money back no they don't but that little kiss is game over yeah, it's game over nice little kiss I think that's all she wrote boys and girls I yeah, just uh, talked to Tommy D and uh, Tommy, Tommy was just saying uh, obviously it looks like Mark's going to clinch the title here and uh, we're going to be paying uh, all cash out Jeff we're not doing no checks and making people wait yeah it's all cash today it's, it's all cash at the uh, end of the day they play poor for one they don't, they don't want to be waiting weeks no, and weeks I mean that, that, that's one thing that I remember when I said to young Jack I said look if we're going to put a big comp on, we can't be making people wait and wait and wait for the cash. It's only right to have uh, You've been involved with Paul, Jeff. I remember you had to wait a long time on IVA, didn't you, take your money? Yeah, I waited a long time. I said that to young Jack and young Tom. I said, look, we can't make people wait for the money because that'll just put people off your events for life. I said, as soon as they put that money back, you have that cash. And uh, Mark's going to put these last two balls... And within five minutes, he's going to get five bags of sand in his hand. Is it his uh, winner? So in he's in played great. He's played unbelievable. It is, it is but listen, I just want to say to Liam Dunstan, uh, another fantastic performance to get to where he's got. And uh, he was actually playing really well. Yeah, I'm surprised that he missed that. But listen, Mark Boyle is back in the winner's circle. He's just going to send a little G up there. Little fist pump You there can just see Mark. what it means to him, Jeff. It's a massive tournament here. Yeah. I think he's so happy to be back in the mix, isn't he? Because, he's, he's, like he said, he's been struggling with his eyes. And there it is, people. <laughs> That's all, folks. Stick around for the presentation. I we'll love you and leave you, me. Yeah, so we'll Michael have the Stain presentation now. Uh, anyway. I'm not sure who's going to do the interview. Uh, just find out with Tommy. I'm, I'm right, lads, uh, just stick around, lads. Uh, what an interview. So, if you bear with us, there will be a, uh, a bit of a presentation. Thank you. 
What? Shut up, you knobhead. Oh, you better go runners up short. What's up in there? It's all right. Our mixer's just taken a bit of a uh, a fall. Not quite sure why. It's all right. We've got long arm Lewis grabbing it. Uh, one minute, lads. I've just wrecked all equipment. Just uh, obviously, Jakob's not doing his job right, so uh, he'll probably have sacked it morning. But well, I didn't realise that I had to hold on to the mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, his uh, cable's not long enough. But are we still going live? Are we? Yes, are we, still we are. Yeah, we are still live. You are live. Yeah, we're still going. So we're uh, yeah. To the runner-up, uh, another unbelievable performance, uh, Liam Dunster, the island sensation. Not doing that. I'm getting here, Tom. Just a couple of words with Liam, Tom. Uh, obviously, Jack, uh, probably not the result you wanted, mate, but another great effort once again. I mean, that's three runners up in your last four events now. I don't know. It, obviously, he's going to win one soon, but three runners up, he's not happy. He wants to win, he's a winner. It reminds me of Stephen Hendry, I've got to say it, it does. I used to hate Stephen Hendry. <laughs> no, I don't say to me. Actually, he plays, I love how he plays, his will to win, but obviously a great event at Murphy's just coming up short. Yeah, like you say, um, fell short a few times now. Um, just fatigue, just, just shattered. But um, no, I know what I have to work on, work on my fitness, obviously. So that's what I'm going to work on for next event. Fair play. Pretty honest assessment there, I think. Uh, fair play to Liam Dunster. A round of applause, lads. <laughs> and the, the winner of the 2018 English Open, the last man to actually enter the field. I had to beg him to enter this event. The magic man, Mark Boyle. Yeah, put it, just put that on tip, Murph. Put that on table. Just put it on table. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here, I'm a Mark. I actually did have to beg you to enter this event. Uh, it were in it, it were out of it, and then I was I spoke to Santa, and Santa says, "Let me have a word with him." And somehow he's managed to convince you to enter it, and it looks a pretty good decision right now. Amazing. Hey. It was uh, yeah, it was a last minute to come and play in this. I knew it'd be a great tournament, but I was having problems with my eyes, and I've been really busy with, with my work. Eh? But uh, glad to get my eyes fixed. So I've joined the Specky Brigade. So uh, that's this was one for the Speckies. So I was just over the moon. Uh, glad I came because I didn't realise how good a club this is. This club is it's brilliant. It's, the staff, the tables, the people, it's, it's been a great event, eh? so definitely if it's on next year, uh, definitely definitely come and definitely recommend it to anybody. It's one of the best tournaments I've played in for a long time. What about the standard of pool? Uh, uh, what we've seen this week, this the last few, week, you know, last few the, days. Yeah, the standard's been incredible. It's, it's, it's all about my breaks worked this, this weekend, eh? my break's been brilliant, and uh, that, that's what's helped me. The, basically win this event because yeah. if they're all sitting there you expect to clear them up but if you miss if you have a dry break or miss a, a wee silly ball or run out of position you expect to lose the frame at this standard yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah uh, mark uh, just a quick question what did you reckon to the air conditioning system in yeah. club murphy's oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is it's just in the veil yeah but obviously a great event to Standard, uh, standard in this competition. From uh, I know there were a couple of bad players, but even the bad players actually put in a great performance. And uh, well, three out of four in the semi-finals. I think uh, unbelievable event. But I think uh, me and Jeff were saying it final that uh, Mark's bracket just it were coming back to middle. 
point at rail every single time. You were just timing it unbelievable, and I think that's what difference was, to be honest. Uh, the break's massive at this game, and uh, I changed for the side break because I feel like the, the white ball's a bit lighter on the green cloth, so it kind of fires off the pack. So I was like, I need to get, get a break cue so I can hit, crunch them down the middle. And uh, Richie McDonald at Matt Cues has designed a cue that I love. And uh, so if you're looking for one, give me a shout. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play, ladies and gents, your champion, right. Mr. Magic, Matt Boyle. <laughs> Um, no.